It's Sunday, and back home, back in Montreal, where I fucking belong. Um, I'm here with everyone's favorite retard. I'll get to him in a second. Uh, I want you guys to know. I was having a conversation on Twitter right before they started about cryptocurrency. Uh, people I s- seem to get upset when I don't want to fucking join their cryptocurrency fucking scams. I don't like any of that shit. I don't enjoy any of that stuff. It's not personal. Uh, people have been trying to get me to do that stuff for a while. I don't do it. Uh, by the way, there's going to be an episode dropping at midnight of the Pantelis podcast. Good, fun episode with Poseidon and Rob Sheehan. So you guys should uh, check that shit out. We had a fun time. Well, fun time. We had a time in Ottawa. We'll get to it, I guess, in a second. But without you know further ado, I'm going to introduce you guys to everyone's favorite uh, retard-adjacent human being, Poseidon. I want you to be the he to my ha. You've been, you've been holding that one in for a while, huh? Yes. Oh, I felt so good to say it. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Speaking of uh, those crypto things, I had I had somebody at the airport uh, pitch it to me, like a stranger, a stranger, stranger, uh, and I was like, yeah, nah. So the way it works, I think I think it was the same. Uh, I think it was something like it started in China, okay. And there's people like making millions there, but they were like the first ones to uh, start it or whatever. Anyways, and then you have to put money in, and it g- gives you back money. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, speaking of like, uh, like I did ACN when I was eighteen. Something people don't know. Yeah, and ACN, which everybody even years ago they were trying to get me into it, pretending yeah. like, oh, it's legit. Don't worry, bro. You make money. Yeah. yeah. This was eight years ago. Uh, I remember because uh, I was kind of in a rough spot, like eight years ago. Yeah. And like uh, to me, it seemed like s- something to make money and Obviously. be legit. So like I fell for it, but never again. I made the mistake once, you know. That's how uh, pyramid schemes work. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, we're back. It's fucking Sunday. Uh, we're back from the most boring and also depressing city, Ottawa. God damn, that place was depressing, huh? No. Yeah. It was strange, and it was all under construction. But beautiful women. Yeah, but you came late because you overslept. So what are you uh, to Ottawa, you were supposed to be there a lot earlier, but Poseidon overslept in the morning and had me waiting for him. But I got to hang out at, uh, I went to the Greek Fest. You never told day. me that you were going to wait for me, by the way. Yeah, I did. We spoke the night before when I was eating at a restaurant. I called you. Yeah. You told me you were going to leave Montreal at 11 a.m. 11 for one. So I said, all right, I'll eat my lunch at one. I'll do my, uh, I'll work in the hotel room till then. So we already went through this. I don't know why you lie and then you forget that you lie. That's, <laughs> it's, it's fucking strange to me. Uh, you forget your lie like within minutes, not even like Well, because I, I had told Homer we were going to leave. Again, again, you're continuing with other stuff. That's not, you told me you were going to leave at 11, you're going to be there at 1. That's what you told me. You said, I'm going to be there at 1 is what you told me. And uh-huh. then you kept changing it and then you go, but I told him something else. So that should account for you too. Just weird lies. And it was weird, weird lies. Miscommunication problem. Yeah, don't get involved in pyramid schemes. Uh, so yeah, so miscommunication, definitely miscommunication. So Poseidon showed up a little bit later than we expected because uh, he overslept as usual. But still, he got to enjoy Ottawa. Uh, we got some good recordings on the GoPro with it. I'm going to have to edit that soon as well. Um, we got you playing VR, I think. VR games on yeah. PlayStation also in the mall. Well, not playing. Uh, it was... Uh, it, I was in... Uh, you know those uh, deep dive cages? Yeah. Uh, I was in one of those in, in the VR. And I was going down and there was a fucking shark and shit, bro. I was terrified. Yeah, that's not a Poseidon-esque behavior. Yeah. To be terrified of a shark. You own the seas, sir. Fuck a sure. Eh? Yeah, you own the seas and a series of sleeveless shirts. That's <laughs> I like the sleeveless su- shirts. I know, of course. We, we figured that out. Uh, <laughs> no, Phil, it wasn't VR porn. Phil's in the chat. Uh, Phil, who is in the chat, could have just drove here and just been sitting in the studio. But no, he decided to be in the chat because he's got shit to do. Uh, let's see. Marco says that his thing is just to offer and learn about crypto and they give you uh, some to try. So Marco made, he sold him in an instant and he made 94 bucks. So if you get in and out quick, he says, you could make some money. Um, but I don't want to do any of that stuff. I don't trust him. I don't trust anything. Mm. I don't trust anything that doesn't, that it's not the same dollars. I'll trust US dollars. That's it. I barely trust euros, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he may have been in the future, Poseidon might blow virtual dudes. Because if he's going to go gay for pay, he'll definitely do it virtually, right? More so than you would in real life. With what? He says, would you blow a virtual cock no. for money? No. Yeah, you would. You'd blow Still a real gay. cock for money. huh? Just the action of blowing Yeah, is gay. And? But how do you virtually suck on a dick? I don't get it. Trickle says 20 bucks is 20 bucks, bro. <laughs> but well, Hold on, hold on. How do you virtually suck on a dick? <laughs> how do you figuratively suck on a dick? <laughs> well, real life is real life, right? You yeah. Touch, feeling, senses. 
Yeah. Because Mark is saying now that because uh, fiat currency isn't trustable because it's controlled by the country. Uh, yeah, it is controlled by the country. But um, when when you go, for example, now to shop and you use your card, right? Does anybody stop you and says, whoa, whoa, whoa these are our dollars from this country. So you can't use that here. Nobody's ever said that to you. Nobody's ever said that shit to you. Uh, what time did Poseidon get to Ottawa? Oh, how did he like? How, how did he like the road? He liked the he liked the road. He doesn't mind the road, especially if it's yeah. two hours. I, when I came in, I didn't mind it either. I saw a guy get a ticket. Um, he was he was driving a blue beetle, and he was being a fucking asshole. Like you know how they have those. Um, he was being an asshole, and and I sped up to like beat him at one point, and then I realized I go, this guy's gonna get a fucking ticket because being a prick to everyone. He was weaving in and out of lanes. Really, and, and he's one, driving a beetle, bro. He was a Relax. Beetle. At one point, he was going over one fifty. And I knew he was going to get caught. So I slowed down. I go, this guy's going to eat a dick. And then when this undercover cop pulled him over, bro, it, it felt like it wasn't just me. It felt like everyone driving next to me that were passing him were smiling too. Like they all wanted him to get caught. <laughs> fucking, and he was going 150 something. So that that's a big fine, I think. Because after 125. In Ontario? Yeah, yeah, it's a big ticket. Yeah, he got fucked. As long as they clocked him at that speed. But I know that he was going over 150 because I was looking at my. Well, there was, there was a sign in Ontario. If you go 50 kilometers over the speed limit, the fine can reach up until ten thousand dollars, meaning the maximum that they can fine you is ten thousand dollars. I got fucked, and then as soon as he did that, I went, uh, I went, I got out. It was like half hour out of uh, Ottawa, yeah. And I just went to put gas. I was running low on gas, and get myself a coffee, and I want to take a piss too. Yeah. I took a piss as well, um, and then I went to get. Co- Here's the thing that happened with the coffee. I don't know if I told you this, and and it it, it made my blood boil. I was like, these fucking people here are idiots. Uh, I went, I ordered this, the exact thing I told him, I, what I always say to people, I'll have a large coffee with just a little bit of cream. So the guy looks at me, he's like, okay, turns around, comes back and he had a, a cup and he put some cream inside. He says, so you just want this cream in this cup. And mm-hmm. I stopped for a second. I tried to register. I was <laughs> looking at him. I go, yeah, but with coffee. He's like, okay, you want the coffee? Go, yeah, who doesn't want the coffee? I didn't say I give me a cup and put cream in it. I said, give me a large cup of coffee with a little bit of cream. And then again, he froze. He's like, this is, I put, yeah, just put coffee. You have cream? Just put the coffee in there. I was like, what is happening in this fucking place? <laughs> what is fucking no, happening? No, no, because you have to say, you have to say two creams. Bro. Large coffee with two creams. But there's no two, it wasn't Tim Hortons. It was a country style thing. So oh, his cream, okay. the cream, first of all, was in a thing. So oh, it wasn't okay, two okay. creams. Okay. So how can I say two creams? All I said is, I want a large cup of coffee with just a little bit of cream. And he understood, I just want a little bit of cream in a large empty cup of coffee. Even I wouldn't fuck that up. I don't know how you'd think that. Like, how many people came in there and just ordered cream? I guarantee you nobody orders just cream. It's, a, it has, it's like a gas station. You could buy a, a box of cream. Do you, you think want. you terrified the man or something? Straight cool. He didn't forget the coffee. He just thought I didn't want the coffee. He thought I just wanted a little bit of cream in a cup of coffee. And we wanted to drink the cream like that. Like, he takes the term cup of coffee literally as in it's a cup that you could put coffee in, not a cup filled with coffee. You know what it is? It's your eyebrows. They 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 angle out like that. Yeah. Like feather. You you look angry. You look uh, you look like an owl. I do always look to, angry. Yeah. Ready to pounce on a prey. I always. So maybe you terrified the poor man. The million dollar man says everyone has a price. Is what Homer is reminding you of. Uh, <clears throat> let's see a cream shooter. Yeah, that's. That's past retarded, yeah. The guy looked retarded, Jason, though. But that's past. De- finally made the live stream. Deeds, welcome. Uh, who doesn't drink? Who doesn't drink cream? Yeah, who just doesn't drink cream? Yeah. I don't. Oh, nobody does. She's fucking around. Oh. It, it's it's so stupid that that's what he thought. And that was my first interaction, like getting into <laughs> like. A, and I was like, this is gonna be a fun weekend. This is gonna be good. And then everything is under construction. Like Fred came to the show. Um, everything is under construction around there. Like bad construction. Like you can't go on the, the streets are completely yeah, yeah, yeah. done done in. So I don't know. Mark says, uh, what did you expect with the poor? The, he pours coffee for a living. Yeah, but it doesn't make you like pouring coffee like a cat, you know, like, um, I don't no, know. No, it doesn't make you dumb. There hasn't been a, there's, you, I don't know. I don't look, the honestly, you know, it's weird. The only job I look down at, and I think you're a piece of shit if you do that job, normally is politicians. Like everyone else, I don't look down at them. Like it's you know everyone has a it's job. A it's job. Just, yes, a job. Like I assume that you you know you know how to do it. The only job I look down on, I think, and I'm like you're useless, is normally politicians because they don't contribute anything. They don't. The guy making the coffee is contributing. He's making a coffee. You're on the yeah. road. You need coffee. You're getting it from him. All these people contribute. Fucking uh, the person that doesn't contribute is the politician. He just takes. He takes taxes from the coffee guy. Takes taxes from me. Takes taxes from the janitor. Takes taxes from everyone. 
the pet sh- the store per- they take tax from everyone that's all they that's how they and they just shit sit there and fucking um think about how fuck I, I need a raise how am i gonna fucking tax these guys more <laughs> yeah they're the only ones i look yeah. down at one time i went to pick up a pizza marvin says i just gave my first name an 18 year old girl said uh there were two of my name in the computer and just <laughs> she didn't know how to proceed She's like, eh, there's two of you what about last name what about order number what about like you know so she freezed yeah that happened That's to me funny. too when i went to purely i don't know if i talked about it remember when no, i went you to did. get you told me but i don't think oh it, my god and, about it. and the guy they're like we can't find it you have to call head office to find your thing i was like jesus fucking christ and then the guy working there's like wait what's your name <laughs> and like wait you could do this by name he's like yeah no, there was initially a guy that was telling you that. The guy, the, the yeah, guy, the, the black guy told yeah. me that I couldn't. And then the guy's sitting there is like, wait, what's your name? And he looks like, what time did we call you? I go, 11? He's like, oh, yeah, right here. Hey, you're the only pan- Who else is called Pantels? Yeah, and he went and grabbed the thing and gave yeah, it to Yeah, and I was like, you fucking idiots. Yeah. In a free education situation, I don't understand why you would get a job like that. Uh, like a job like what, doing the coffees? Well, um, I don't know. I think it's it's not, like nobody, nobody wants to do anything like that as a career. No. That's just shit that you do, you know, like you in between. Yeah, it's in like between. at some point at some point I was uh I worked for a cleaning company for two, three weeks. Yeah, like let's say I don't know if I right now I'm like, oh shit, I need some money and I gotta pay rent or something, I need yeah. to do something. I would do anything, man. I would dishwasher, delivery yeah. guy. I don't give a fuck. As long as it pays, I would do it, right? Uh, I'm not hurting anyone. Uh but it wouldn't be like, you know what? I gotta be the pizza delivery guy for a living. That I wouldn't do. No. That I yeah. wouldn't do. I would always look to try to get out, figure yeah. what I'm gonna do next. Yeah. Anyways, point is, the cream thing is what showed me, all right, these, these are the type of people I'm dealing with. I got to talk really slow, <laughs> real slow this weekend. And the, f- the Friday show was, you know what's crazy is I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm losing my fucking mind because the Friday show uh, went tremendous. Like It was very easy, the Friday show, just layups. Fred was there, he saw. And then Saturday, I didn't like my set at all yesterday. And then you and Homer, everybody who was talking to like liked it. Yeah, and I was like, I didn't like it at all. I felt like I didn't get any laughs. And then my set was recorded, Poseidon recorded, and I was looking at it this morning, and you were right. It was just laughs the whole time. Yeah. And I was like, why didn't it feel like that from the stage yesterday? It's weird. From the stage, I felt like I wasn't doing well, and then I looked at the video, and I was doing well, and then everyone who came to talk to me said I was doing well. So I think it's mental. I think I'm losing my fucking mind. Well, no, because uh, you, you had a contrast, right? So Friday night, you had people that were exploding and were laughing like, yeah. Bam, 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 like going nuts. They were much harder to make laugh yesterday. I'll yeah. tell you that. They were, you know. And then yesterday, Saturday, you had people that were a little more conservative. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what so I noticed off the bat. So pe- people, like I, whoever came to both, like people didn't come to both shows. They came to one or the other. And I didn't do the, f- the same set over and over. I, half the set was different on each show, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, and the reason for that was because, and also both sets, I missed doing um, a specific joke that I wanted just because I didn't have enough time. But both sets were a little different based on the audience. Like the first night, they were a bit looser. So I was able to go a bit... Yeah, this is for Ottawa. I was able to go a bit more. Even though they didn't like me when I made fun of Trudeau in the beginning, they kind of went like that. Um, but the second night, they were very conservative in comparison. Because I remember in the beginning, even the sweatshop thing, all that, they got very tense. So I figured, okay, if that's it, I'm not going to do the Saudi Arabian bit. I'm not going to do the Trump stuff. Because I can't get any laughs. It's no. just going to ruin the mood for everyone. So that's why I... Uh, Tweaked it a bit, but the first night I didn't like the fact that they got so mad that you can't say anything about Trudeau. And the joke that I said about Trudeau was also kind of like going on his side a bit, you know, like uh, about the trips that he takes. And then still they were a little like, Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like when you're yeah. you're so invested in this image. Like you're like, I have to agree with everything that happens in this city and this politician. Like I'm, I'm, my identity is invested in this fucking person. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah, I don't like that anyway. either. But, um, <laughs> There was a part uh, right outside of uh, when we walked to the mall. We walked. Uh, you remember where the Palestinian thing was happening? Palestinian festival. Yeah, which, it was, which out- was playing just Jamaican music, <laughs> which is the most Palestinian music <laughs> out there. It was right next to the what was it? City Hall. Yeah, City Hall. Yeah, bro. There was, and you'll see it in the footage that I got yesterday. It looked no joke, bro. Super creepy. It was like these four pillars, okay, on each corner, with like uh, kind of looked like speakers in them or something. And like this really long, large pillar kind of looked like a totem. It looked like a summoning circle. It was very creepy. Probably these goddamn Satanists that run the goddamn country. It felt oh, very creepy. By the way, uh, so tonight when I dropped that episode with Poseidon and Robert Sheehan, so you guys already know like my bookie is like sponsoring my stuff this this month. Um, but we have a new sponsor that came last minute. Like I was, we were talking because I think it'd be a good fit. 
Uh, I don't know if we're going to have future episodes with them or this and that, but I think it's a funny product. They're even sending me stuff so I can show you guys. Uh, it's Offensive Crayons. It's, out of, it's OffensiveCrayons.com. They're, they're American if you want to like buy them. Basically, you remember when we were young and we had like uh, crayons and you had like a uh, sky blue? These guys have offensive colors like fucking miscarriage red and shit like that. Uh, and they have some funny ones like um, your parents' divorce was your fault, Peach, and shit like that. Uh-huh. So when I talk with them, I go, fuck, this seems like a good fit. You know, yeah. so I go, let me try it. Let me see if it does anything. So they said they, they gave me the promo code Pantelis. If you when you check out, they'll give you fifteen percent off. So we'll see if people go to it and people like it, and then maybe they'll want to make a deal and sponsor with you know money and shit like that. So let's see, because it's a funny fucking concept. It feels like it fits in for us. Like if they weren't like they're sending me a, a box of crayons, so I could show people. If they weren't sending me, I think I would have bought one. I, I was probably gonna buy one just to. Cause that's a fucking funny gift to but give. But that's very you. Those, those that's, it's so me. Uh, yeah. Cause I was thinking of giving it as a gift to buying and giving it as a gift, but to like uh, friends' kids. Your nephew. No, not my nephew. Cause now they're older, but uh, like friends' kids. Yeah, that would uh, be funny. And cause, cause I know that imagine, parents won't look like, oh, that's nice. You got him crayons. Yeah, they won't look at the names, and then they're drawing one day, and then they're gonna see, what? <laughs> Faggot, pink. What the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Crayola. <laughs> Crayola. <laughs> Crayola, brother. I don't know. So it's fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my own. I'm gonna use my own promo code Pantel so I can get. <laughs> get so I can buy. Uh, You're hilarious. Yeah, because I think it's fucking funny. That is funny. Like, no, because normally I'd be like, I don't know what this is. Like, I don't want you know, like, uh, don't put my name there. I don't want a promo code. Yeah. But these guys, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I could this. I could get behind this. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm gonna tell Mike about it too. I'm gonna tell him this week. I tell Mike about it because it's fucking hilarious. Mike would love uh, would love them too. Yeah, this that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It fits. It's like, I don't know how I, they found me through a website because I used to be on like advertise cast where you look like sponsors try to. Uh huh. But I stopped working with them, so I told them, "I go look if you want to work with me, you have to work directly." Because advertise cast didn't pay me for sponsorship shit. I did uh, promos. I did a few months ago. Really? Yeah, and they don't owe me a lot. They owe me like twenty bucks, but they didn't pay it. It's the principal because if the they principle. don't pay the twenty dollars, exactly. When push comes to shove for yeah. two Gs, bro. Exactly. It's the principal. Wait for two Gs. No, no, but. It's the principle i go yeah, okay yeah. you guys want to fuck around then you're not getting anything i'm not working with you again yeah. i'm gonna go directly to people yeah you saw those crayons deed yeah you, the, the link is gonna be uh where you'll be in the video so i can get them later uh it's if you go to offensive go to offensive crayons.com i'm gonna put the link in the podcast tonight when i put it uh because they sponsored the, the episode that's coming up um and it's just a promo code when you check out just my name pantelis but what's funny about them is that right away I knew I was like, fuck, pe- like I wish I saw these. I think you saw them deeds maybe even on Amazon. They used to have them on Amazon and Amazon pulled them because apparently um, kids were, uh, it was offensive to kids and to Caucasians. That's what the legal notice Are you serious? from Amazon wrote to offensive crayons. You're joking, right? That's what it wrote. Just kids and Caucasians. That's what it wrote. That's what the legal term But wait, wrote. Caucasian kids or any colored kids? It said kids, children, and Caucasians were too offended. Okay? Mm. Now here's the fucked up part is, is Amazon sells dildos they sell yeah. whatever the fuck you want sex swings but these fucking crayons offend- that just makes you want them more yeah. it's just that you have to go directly because yeah, Amazon yeah, yeah. fucking but Amazon fucked them because Amazon's the best way to uh, am- yeah we're all Caucasian we didn't get offended am- <laughs> Amazon's uh, the best place to sell your shit right if you're selling products <laughs> so Amazon fucked them so now that's why I guess they're trying to advertise on podcasts to get the name out there but for podcasts like ours even two drink minimum I'm going to talk to Mike this week yeah. it fucking makes sense yeah. man that is fucking funny. Especially with the kind of shows that we are. Yeah, I'm gonna because I want you understand it's not if people watch want to buy. I'm gonna use my own promo code tonight to buy more <laughs> crayons because I know I'm gonna give them as gifts. Fuck. But I want to give them to that people's kids gift. though first. Yeah. Because I know they won't look at them. Yeah. I know they won't, and this is a joke that's gonna pay off months later. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about? I got the Crayola. Yeah. And you wrap it up and yeah. you give it to the kid. Oh, crayons. Yeah, exactly. it oh, you got my son crayons. <laughs> I think these crayons are Spanish because the black one is... Uh <laughs> <laughs> the black one is... <laughs> Wait, the black one is what? I it's a it. subtle joke. I felt like you would get it. Because it would be black. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. It. Why did it take you so long? I just got it. Mm. Color me alcoholic piss surprised. Yeah, it's funny. And I think they have, I'm going to talk to them, but I think they, they're going to have like a contest that lets you send in like names or ideas for colors and shit. Like chink yellow. It's too simple. Like, you know, use your yeah. imagination. But the point is, uh, these these are the kind of people that you know, I could see in the future. These are the kind of people that uh, yeah. it's the future we're building together. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Where? Yeah, subtlety is not his strong suit. What, what's not my strong suit? Subtlety. Oh, more, yeah, 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 exactly. Marvin gets it. More like bad driver yellow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Stuff like that. That's funnier, yeah. That is funny. <laughs> hate loves like I don't get it. <laughs> what, what? Hate love, you get it. Um, it's kind of like Phil's uh, joke, uh, this just thing this week, the whole call a spade a spade. This oh, yeah, yeah, guy, yeah. But he didn't know that he was doing it. Yeah. Wife beaters are his strong suit. They are, yeah. He wears, he rocks the wife beater well. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that was kind of our, our Ottawa. It wasn't a full adventure, but that was kind of like our Ottawa takeaway. It was a bit of a broken city. And they, they do get... I mean, they, they want to laugh. They're very happy to be there. Like, the fact that they showed up to a comedy club when it's so hard to get there because of all the construction is impressive to fill up the room two days. And they're willing to laugh. Like they won't, But it's just there's some stuff that they don't want. Like, politics, there's, they don't they're like... They to talk about. Yeah, they, they don't like to... Because no. they, they, it, it feels like they assume any criticism is like... It, you know, oh, it's yeah, bad. Oh, yeah, if I say... So, if, if I laugh, uh, that means that I'm racist, that I'm this, that I'm that. It's just crazy shit. So... But the thing is, if they had good food, if they had good Oh, yeah, their food, food is terrible. Everyone who ate their food, myself, Poseidon, one of the other comics, Alex, that was on the show, uh, all had stomach problems. Yeah. If they had good food, it would be a city that and I And this is the whole city. I ate at three different restaurants. All of them fuck with me. That I wouldn't mind moving at, by the way. Yeah. If they had good food. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to move there. I don't like it at all. Even next time I go, because Marco, it's not the only club. Yeah, they have pretty women because there's all the universities there. So you see a lot of girls from everywhere. But uh, it's not the only club, but I don't think if I go to Ottawa, I'm, I'm never doing a club again. I'm just going to rent a room and, and uh, sell tickets myself. No. I'm not going through that, that, that ordeal again. I'm just going to do it myself. I don't want to go through uh, <clears throat> the same thing. But um, even when I, because I went to a Greek restaurant the first night, right before the show, just to eat. And I, I don't know if, did I tell you? I called you. I don't know if I told you that I, didn't, that I had trouble. Like when I walked in, no, I sat down. Come. They gave me the menu. I'm looking. I ordered the uh, calamari plate. You know, simple. And then the, la- the I asked for coffee. The lady's like, are you sure you want coffee? Because I'm going to make it, which is a weird thing to tell. What? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you, heard, you heard me correctly. <laughs> Repeat that. Are you sure you want the coffee? Because I'm going to make it. And I was like, okay, fuck. Man. That would have made me very worried. Yeah, so already I'm getting like, you know, a little fucking agitated. But then I order and then it takes a while. Then the order comes and it's just like a, it's like the entree. And I look at the, the lady that brought it to me, and I go, yeah, this is not correct. I bought the plate, right, with salad and everything. And the waitress sees me, and she's like, oh, fuck, they brought it in the wrong place. She notices. I go, what's going on? Takes this, like, I'll fix it for you. Another 10, 12 minutes pass. They finally bring me, and they brought me the plate, but it was super oily, like it, it, like, like deep oil. No. Like everything. Yeah, so then I'm looking. I go, Phew. she comes back. She's like, is everything okay? I go, can I ask you a question? I go, how long have you been working here? She's like, a while. I go, is, this, is it always this oily? I go, like, this is, like, I eat. A lot. This this is not the way you should be serving this. A lot of us like, yeah, fuck it. It's not normal like this, but I guess because they, like, she was making up an excuse for the oil. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. So whatever, I'm eating. I just want to eat my food and leave. I got I to do the gig, right? So I'm eating whatever. They know that I'm not happy. So then they offered me a piece of cake on the house. And I said, I don't want the cake. I said, like, yeah, but it's so hot. We just gave you a slice. I go, yeah, but I didn't ask you for the slice. Like, I don't want, mm. I don't want the cake. It's like, no, but, you know, just... Get the cake, you know, like, uh, and then I was like, look, this is my favorite dessert. It was, it was, it was, it was my favorite Greek dessert, but I go, I don't want it because I, I just don't want to eat it. It's a lot of sugar right now. I'm going to do a show. I don't, I don't want it, the cake. It's not, and it's not going to make things better. I still ate a fucking tub of oil, you know, like I didn't eat all my food because it was, fu- like, I, I didn't enjoy my food because it was all oily. So whatever, that happens. Then I go down to use the bathroom and, I, and normally in bathrooms, they tell you caution, wet floor, right? So this, the poster they put up wrote, caution, wet floor is slippery. Now, those last two words, Not, you don't need to put. You don't need them. Anyone that needs those last two words isn't going to the public restroom by himself, okay? <sighs> and also, it was not uh, wet. It was sticky. It was like a rhinoceros came on the floors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was my first experience eating there right before I went to the club, and then I walked to the club. And oh, I was like, you must have been so pissed. Yeah, I was angry, yeah. God damn. I was angry. And I was alone the first day, right? No one, you hadn't, you you didn't come. Yeah. No one was there. I even got agitated at some point um, in, in a McDonald's when we were ordering coffee. Oh yeah, I wasn't there. Yeah, I was sleeping. Yeah, and uh, so so we go to the McDonald's, me and me and Homer, and he orders. He goes one black, and uh, sir, you can't buy them anymore. No, no, iced coffee. Okay. <laughs> one black iced coffee, motherfucker. <laughs> 
One, Mr. Lincoln made sure that's not a thing anymore, <laughs> sir. You should be ashamed of yourself. Let me throw you out of McDonald's. One regular for me, and then um, and then he, and then I go. Uh, oh, I get one for Pantelis, and he goes, "Oh, do we get one for Pantelis?" I'm like, "But he's gonna drink it. Trust me, he drinks a lot of coffee." I drink eleven coffees a day. Yeah, yeah. and he goes, "Okay." Uh, but the thing is, I said it a little aggressively, and I kind of terrified. It was a very small man behind the counter, and he looked like 50 years old. Oh. Uh, I think I terrified him. Yeah, no shit. And um, Sir, can you put a shirt on? No! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so, he goes, uh, so he goes, yeah, and just uh, uh, I mediumized coffee with uh, milk. I go, no, actually, sir, instead of milk, put cream. And then he got all confused, bro. And I go, uh, uh, wait, one at a time? This is a little confusing. So how many coffees? I'm like, okay. Three iced coffees I go to, right? One is black, one is regular, and one just cream. So you want like the 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 iced coffee, the third one, but like with just cream in it and no sugar. I'm like, yeah, no sugar. Let me okay. ask you, why am I ordering with you if you're a complete retard? Yeah. So I was like, I was like, I was getting agitated. I was very annoyed the whole time. I was standing like this, waiting for my coffee. I was like, I had sunglasses. Everyone was staring at me because I, I, you could tell that I was agitated. Yeah, I see what I've, you mean. I, you see, I, I get upset with that, but yeah. it wasn't as bad as my cream thing. No, obviously not. But but, but still, yeah. still, you you see, it's just I don't know. And that whole city, I think you know why people are scared to talk about politics and scared to talk shit. Eighty percent of them work for the government. So they're scared. They think they're gonna lose their jobs. They think because it's not like it's not like the states here. There's just no real freedom of speech, right? They get it's in trouble true. for everything. It's true. And yeah. you won't be able to bring someone to court here because no, here you get fucked. That here you yeah. the government will bring you to court for offending them because you talk shit about them. Yeah. They'll throw you in jail, bro. Wasn't it that comedian that went to jail? Canadian. The, it was a com- can- no, Canadian comic, wasn't no, it? No, the, the, there was that guy. He was an open micer in Vancouver. Yeah. Who was forced to pay all kinds of money because he, there was a he made fun of two lesbians that were heckling him. They were heckling him. Hold on. They were so they started him. shit with him. They started shit in the, you know, they dis- they disrupted the performance. Uh huh. And then and he, he got him in to trouble. shut the fuck up. Yeah, he he handled the situation. And they called him a homophobe. And uh, yeah, it's hate speech or some shit because he, he attacked a minority. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's fucking Narnia out here. Forget that. Forget that. You, uh, you're going to get upset for nothing. Yeah. You had fun, though. You had fun in yes, Ottawa. At least you enjoyed fun. the shows. You enjoyed. You, you, saw, you, you, you haven't seen me perform in like a week, and you saw new shit. Uh, yeah, uh, modifications, too. Yeah, I liked your. I like. Well, I'm not gonna start saying because you know. Yeah, but you don't uh, ruin it. yeah, but uh, it's how fast I work though. Yeah, uh, there's oh. an entire bit that's new, that I did yesterday that, yeah, I, yeah. I, that I also did on Friday. Yeah, I'm trying to think of which one. Well, I don't. You'll tell ruin me after. It. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it for people. But point is, we let's see. Did he try the vaginas out there? He d- you didn't. Tr- he didn't even did. You, no, he he looked a lot. He tried to talk to women, but. Everything was in a rush, even at the mall. But he looked a lot. He was staring at a lot of women presiding. There was were a there was a large amount of beautiful women. Surprisingly, <laughs> I was in shock. Like I would revisit Ottawa just for that, just for the ladies. Yeah, just for the the coochie. Yeah, there are a lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Fred says you should have went to a massage parlor. Did they have those in Ottawa? I don't know, I have no idea. Probably. I'm gonna Google it now. I'm curious. For sure they have. Why wouldn't they? Oh, for sure. And with all those university students being a little strapped for cash. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're like, I'll give you that extra credit. I'm investing in future careers. (laughs) Sidon, what are you doing? Are you you still addicted to horrors? What are you talking about? I'm investing in the youth of the future. (laughs) I'm investing for the future of society. I'm the only one doing God's work here. (laughs) Well, I'm also getting pleasure, but... Invest yeah. an investment is an investment. Yeah, and we saw on uh, both nights there was two two drink minimum fans that came out. Yeah, which was fun. And uh, just did I want to give a shout out to Will who was sitting in the front row. Yeah. who came after Telus that he watches every week. Um, I don't know if he watches Pantelis live, but I know he watches uh, two drink minimum. And uh, it's a good thing that he came to tell us because then I was able to get a photo yeah. with us. Because people sometimes I noticed even on Friday they're shy to talk to me. Like they th- they're like, is it okay if we take a photo? And like, yeah, f- what the fuck are you talking about? Of course I'm here. Take a photo. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a shit. Let's. Let's do it. There was a guy yesterday. He he was walking back and forth, and then he would stop, stare at me, walk away, come back, no stop, problem. stare at me, 
But like he was a fr- like you could tell he wanted to talk to me, but was afraid. I'm like, is that a fan? Do I yeah, say Yeah, it doesn't hi matter. Like we're there. Eh? We don't give yeah. a fuck. Like I, I, I know I know Poseidon's aggressive and shit, but not in that case. No. I even called him out when I was on stage yesterday. Yeah, I look a little menacing. Yeah, but I even I I even called him out uh, when I was on stage yesterday. I, I did a joke. I did a thing about Poseidon, and the people had like laughed and freaked out that he was doing that. And then I go, and by the way, he's actually here tonight. He's in the back of the room, and he'll take pictures with you later. And as soon as I said it. The whole room turned around to stare at him. It was yeah. the fucking funniest thing. He's like, Ugh. He's like I got on that because <laughs> that was creepy though. It was so mm-hmm. creepy because everyone turned around and just stared in the back. Yeah, that was my power on stage, yeah. sir. Magic. Well. Yeah. So they all looked and we took some photos. Oh yeah, Jeremy Hotz came yesterday. He was the comedian that you met outside with the shorts. Okay. He came to watch. Yeah, I, I, I've never met him before. He came. Uh, he oh, saw cool. a bit of it. Yeah, he was nice to me. Um, he said he liked it. So. I scared the doorman yesterday by yeah. mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, because doorman apparently was a, a little bit of an asshole to you. Well, but even to me, one of the, on the second nights they had done something that kind of uh, pissed me off. When I walked in, I was like, uh, I walked in with uh, with you and Homer when yeah. I walked in when I brought you guys in, and the guy's like, "You guys want a table? Like, where do you want to sit?" He's telling me, and I, and I laugh. I go, "Me?" He's like, "Yeah, you want to sit there?" Then I look at him. Like, yeah, my my fucking face is on that fucking <laughs> poster right there. Like like. Dickhead. Well, can I say what the doorman did, did to me yesterday? Yeah. So I walked in and he saw us walking in with you initially. Yeah. And uh, saw us walking in. I kind of understand. I'm putting myself in his shoes. Like he has all these people to deal with. But at the same time, like, come on. Man. Anyways. So we walk in with you. And then I walk out. I go to the washroom. sees me walking out. sees me putting my stuff on the chair and walking out. I go to the bathroom. And I go. I come back. And I go to him. By the way, do I have time for a smoke before the show starts? He goes, yeah, yeah, you have time. By the way, when you come back, show me your ticket. I'm like, you literally saw me walk out. I was already in there. There's no point of showing you the ticket. Like, I was yeah. already inside, you know? I clearly either showed my ticket or, you know, it was taken care of. No, 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 but you have to. You better show me your ticket, he goes. Oh, my God. This I go, okay, that was weird. So I go back outside and I start smoking. And then he said I had enough time for a smoke. And then from outside, I can hear the host. I'm like, motherfucker. But this guy told me I had enough time. So I run back downstairs, but uh, you know my run. I have a heavy run. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have a heavy everything. Yeah. So, but as I'm going down the stairs, this is sounds like, like really heavy, like fucking. Try to make it on time. Yeah. So as I run downstairs, and like, I guess, I don't know, my, my stance and everything was super aggressive. As I took the turn on the stairs, he was like frozen. Oh, he, he goes, oh, fuck. Like, because I came down super aggressive. And then I go to walk through the door. I stop, look at him. I'm like, we're good. And I just walked. <laughs> you didn't want any of that smoke. I came running down like a rhinoceros, bro. Like fucking charging. Hey, I'm going to go out for a smoke. Yeah, but when you come back, you better show me your ticket. Because I know you're telling me it's you. But what if when you come back, you're not you anymore? <laughs> How are you employed? How the <laughs> fuck are you employed? And not, you know what else fucking b- bothers me? Is that not only did you walk in with me that I brought you in, the fucking headliner brought you in, but also you already had tickets. You bought tickets and yeah. I walked you in even though you had tickets. You yeah. guys paid for fucking tickets yeah. and the guy was still trying to be a dick. Anyways. What can you do? No BS says in case you give the tickets to somebody else. No BS, he, he walked in with a fucking headliner. What, what, you think I'm running a scam out there so that I <laughs> lose money? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It actually sounds really funny. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. It, it, it only makes it only makes sense if like I was like you know we were we had some scam going with tickets. But it, why would I fuck myself over so it looks weird? <laughs> Anyways, so but show oh, me your good. ticket. Because he could have if he wanted. What I'm trying to say is he he, he didn't have to have tickets because I walked I walked them in. It could have been my guest with no tickets. So how's he gonna? What if he didn't have a ticket? How's he gonna show them a ticket? Yeah. The headliner brought me in. What ticket? And I had told him that too. Yeah, and they even told me if I wanted to bring Poseidon to walk him in. You know, so I, I had bought tickets just in case. Well, I, ha- I made Homer buy tickets yeah. just in case, <laughs> and I busted his balls for it. You took advantage. Oh, of you better fucking buy tickets, bro. I, I bought the school Raptors shirt when I was there. Yeah. I bought the hat. Oh, can I show the hat? Yeah, if you want. Uh, Poseidon bought a hat. There you go. And it's because uh, this hat is never going to be made again. Well, unless they win another one. Well, but it won't say 2019. Yeah, it won't say 2019. It's It'll say 2020, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. 
Yeah, you like it. It's a cool head. You're a, like you're a goddamn champion, Poseidon. I like it because it says champions and there's a gold outline. Uh, my tailbone still hurts, especially on this chair, Flat Cat. Thank you for asking. But not like it used to. It's getting better. I think mm, another three three weeks I'll be mm. 100%. Um, maybe less. I don't have to do any travel. I think in September I'm going back down to uh, to Crowder. Woohoo! So as long as it heals a bit before then, because that's going to be a shitty flight. No. Oh. Have you set up PayPal yet? I set up PayPal, okay? Uh, it's in the description. I set up PayPal. Um, I had taken out the Super Chat, and then I put it back on because I realized that um, YouTube, they make money off the Super Chat. So if, they, if you take off the Super Chat in, in the lives, you know, I'm not going to promote it as much because they're scared. Like, I'm not going to make money off this fucking asshole. You know, so it's there. Uh, uh, we still don't know, but what I might do is I'm thinking, if we get a pool of money on the PayPal, on the Super Chat, this and that, because um, we've never touched any of it, like whatever money people have sent, we just have it there. We might use it to like um, uh, either do a contest or get fans to do shit and then pay them and shit like that, you know. So I'm thinking we might raise some funds there if it happens, if you'll use it. You don't have to, but if you do, um, we'll put it in a pool or something. No. We'll, we'll try to do something smart with it. I'm definitely not going to embezzle it. I'm not, I'm not uh, fucking Bernie Sanders. Um, <laughs> that wife beater plus hat combo makes my eyes bleed. He goes, why? You look like your name is Kyle. <laughs> Like I'm gonna punch a wall. And you're gonna dr- you're gonna drink a monster. Buy some decent clothes for Poseidon. That might be it. That might be it. We might get Poseidon some goddamn clothes. I have a lot of decent clothes, sir. But today I was very <laughs> lazy. I'm gonna show them how I'm dressed. Hold on. I'm gonna stand up, okay? All right, stand up, sir. I'm wearing these. Uh, I call them gay shorts. Yeah, because they're your shorts. Well, no, because they're short. Shorts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is that, camel toe? What is going really, on there? Really short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I, dressed, I dressed very lazy today. Like, I woke up. I was like, ah, I don't feel like fucking putting any effort today. It's ma'am, is what Emerald <laughs> says. It looks like a diaper. It does look diaper-esque. It really? Does look like a colorful diaper. Well, there's shark, there's a shark, fi- there's shark fins on Baby it. Baby shark, do 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 do. <laughs> Baby shark, do do. Well, you know, you know when the sharks swim on the water and they got the what is that? That's a fin, no? Yeah, these like it's your money. It's hard to embezzle. Yeah, I know, but I don't like. I want to do stuff with it. You know, you you gotta keep growing. You can't. Yeah. Uh, why try to say be like, oh, I gotta hold on to this ten dollars today when you could work on that and make it fifty dollars tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? Build Same stuff. thing with build. Like a Lego. And then one day it'll be a million dollars. By the way, somebody said this to me over yes. the weekend, and I think it makes I don't I think it might have been Alex, uh, the comedian that was on uh, with me um, from Chicago. Cool dude. Uh, Takanikas. He was a Greekster. So kids these days, it's true. They don't build. Because when you accomplish... Yeah, he was him. We were talking about it at the Greek Fest about how people, no. uh, they're not allowed to have that creativity now kind of. Kids, like, you know, kids that are a little out of the ordinary, they fucking pump them full of drugs. Yeah. And then like the common denominator in most of these shootings isn't the type of gun. It's the fact that these kids are on goddamn psychotropic drugs. And it's not good for them because no one wants to take care of them. Basically, when you create stuff like, um, let's say right now, uh, Sebastian Burgo is in the chat too. You Even you, Poseidon, I don't know how much you're, you know, you too, you get to create. You get to do this no. thing. When we get to create, when we write jokes and we go on stage, people get to feel, you know, you, you feel a sense of accomplishment because you created something. Mm. You know, but all these kids that they're not allowed to have an artistic outlet, and every time they try to be artsy, like even arts, I know that the mm. arts funding is down, especially in the states and schools. E- e- when you're not letting them express themselves, and you just put fucking uh, drugs in them, they're gonna explode at some point. Mm. Uh, we're not robots, just meant for like math mm. and this. No, you need to express yourself, uh, express yourself mm. artistically. So, and if everybody, it's different. Some people could be painting. Some people it could be their hands, like mechanics. Like that's fucking mm. that you feel accomplished. You build mm. something. And when we were young, Legos were huge. Remember Legos? Yeah. Now it's the Lego video games and the Lego movies. But when I was young, actual Legos was the shit. It was huge, yeah. And you felt so good. Even the $10 little things that I would build, these little spaceships and stuff, you felt good when you, be- when you built it because you're like, I made this. I created this. And it felt good. And yeah, I think that if now since the supplement for kids' toys are digital, and that's why I think, uh, and Alex touched on it yesterday, he told me Minecraft. That's why it was so big. Minecraft became huge because people spent yeah. hours on it, but they, they create all these big things, but they felt accomplished. There was a, there was a server, and you could have different servers with Minecraft. Uh, the one server was called the Shire, and there were 1,500 people on it, and they built these huge cities. 
cities, and you could be, and they created a railway system, by the way. And they, you know, how we have our metro map with the colored lines. Yeah, they had done. They had created a whole a whole map as well, like nuts. They went crazy. There was like there were castles and shit. Like like people need this shit. Really? Eh? Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. That's actually badass. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why Minecraft, I think, did well because it um, it brought people back without knowing to that stage yeah. of accomplishment. You know, when you create, that's why I think like even me when I play like the soccer games, uh, I always play like the, the the team building one, and you you know you go through years and you get ro- you know young players, you develop them, you do all that. You're like I made this, and the team goes and does something. Like you don't realize it, but what's the dopamine fix is the accomplishment yeah. is the fact that you created something. Me, I get that with RPGs. Yeah, because you because you build from nothing. Yeah, you build. You, you're people need that. I'm telling you guys right now in the chat. Yeah. Everyone's in the chat. You need that, and that's why all the all the like a lot of my friends. I grew up with the ones that were good with their hands. Even even fucking Viron. Viron's a great handyman. He's oh good my with cars. God. He's good with the walls. He's good with all that he's building you know what in the he house. Did? Dude, w- he built that whole fucking house basically. Bro, and, and a beautiful home. And how did how did he feel, bro? He took time he off. Feels he feels amazing. Chill. Yeah, because f- you accomplished something. And good for him, bro. Yeah, bro. He put a speaker. In his bathroom. Yeah, so, yeah, because he, he built all. He's a wizard. Room. He's a wizard. Yeah. The point is, builds st- it creates when you it could be anything. Yeah. They they try to hide that shit from you. Yeah. They try to give you ready made stuff. Forget the ready made shit, bro. That's not gonna make you feel good. Yeah. Everything you create. That's why when you create a family, when you make fucking. That's why people feel accomplished. Yeah. Create shit. And it's the next generation. You know, you gotta, you gotta. That's how humanity continues. Yeah, yeah, no, but just create shit because they're, they're they're not gonna. They, they want us to be uh, pods. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this. Yeah. Cattle. I'll take this. Cattle. Yeah. They want us to be cattle. You see, Louis works in construction. Louis fucking built shit every day. Yeah. You know, you see he's you start. So here's the thing, construction right now. Imagine that you start and it's nothing, right? Let's let's yeah. say it's a broken bridge, it's, it's it's pieces that you're gonna build a building of. And then by the end of the month, by the end of three months, depending on what the project yeah. is, you see something something's created out of nothing. Yeah. Oh fucking you know you feel. And even though you're a worker, you know you feel though, that's done, you're like, that's me. Yeah. We we made this shit. Yeah. We built this. Yeah. You know, that's Real accomplishment. I yeah, they want us reliant on them when in reality they're reliant on us. No. Like I said, the government doesn't create any uh, any money. It takes. No. It doesn't create any jobs. All the jobs they create are fake. They just add more people to these fake ass jobs. The you're the it's us. We're the people that create. It's no. the human beings that create that shit. Me the the speaking of like the the video. Oh games. Marvin designs and makes fuck swings. So not only is he creating Wait, excuse me? He's making the world a better place. <laughs> he's making everyone happy. It's funny because before we started this, Poseidon was mentioning fuck swings. Do you remember when you mentioned sex fuck swings? Sex swings, yeah, for some reason. I don't know why you mentioned them. Well, because I said Amazon sells sex swings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly, yeah. But they, they were scared to sell offensive crayons. Yeah. That's why if you're going to buy offensive crayons at offensivecrayons.com, what promo code are you using? Pantelis. For 15%. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I want them to sell a lot. I want them to do well. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Because I like it. It's and I cool. want them to blame me for it. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, I get that sense of accomplishment with video games, with RPGs. Because you give me that a little character who's, who's a piece of shit. Who's weak. Yeah. Weakling. And then you build them up to like be, be like a fucking crazy, like crazy armor, drug lord or whatever. Yeah. Like in GTA, drug you know. Lord, yeah. Well, like in Grand Theft Auto, example, okay, you yeah. know. So like, we're like, you know, he has all this property after and shit. Me, I, me, I love that shit. You build them up to be this crazy character. Yeah, it's amazing. But meanwhile, you were given a tiny little dude that has no significance. Yeah. You know, that that when when I reach that character to the top, I'm like, yeah. People need to create. People need to build so they can feel good. Yeah. So don't let them tell you otherwise. Don't let them trick you. Speaking of building, so me and Poseidon were talking um, after the show. Poseidon enjoyed the show in Ottawa. And then we were talking about, like, what's next on the list? Because I keep talking about Toronto. But I kept asking you guys to mention your cities. Uh, so we have a list of kind of cities. Keep mentioning them, Twitter here, wherever. We, we take note of it. Um, and we're looking at, like, different venues and places. And from now on, we're probably just going to do it ourselves, Kansas City. We're probably just going to do it ourselves. Uh, even if it's a club, we'll probably just rent it. And then sell tickets ourselves. Um, I think it's much much better that way. I honestly think that the the old nightclub comedy club model is probably gonna die soon at some point. Uh, I think there's still gonna be main clubs that are around, but in the future, like to the 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 main attraction stars that you're gonna see are you're not gonna be going to the regular comedy clubs. And the reason I say this is because of podcasting, because of the internet, because of um, because essentially what's happening is you're developing your own fan base, right? 
So I know that uh, Sebastian is laughing at that, but that's the truth. Even Sebastian, the shows that he does right now, they're not at, they're not at clubs, right? He's doing it alternative rooms because that's where the fans go, right? You build your own, yeah. you build your own show, you build your own fan base, and people go there. So you don't need them anymore. And moving forward in the future, what's going to end up happening is you're going to have a, a hit YouTube podcast. You're going to have a hit show on TV or whatever, and then you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to your fans. Let's say you go to, let's say you go to fucking Kansas City. No. Why would you go to Kansas City and let the club sell tickets and you make shit money instead of you renting a room for less, selling tickets yourself, and then your fans are giving you the money directly? Yeah. You make more money and you have control of the show. There's no chance they could fuck you on anything. It's just no. you. You bring your own opener. You do whatever you want. That's the future. That's the future. And, and we're close to it because people are already doing it now. There's already comics that have built careers based on people seeing them online and doing their own shows now yes it takes a lot more work uh sebastian as, as sebastian because he has his own podcast no bs uh with sb on on youtube that he just started recently and it's picking up traction his interviews with comedians so ask him to tell you too it's not easy it takes a lot of work to build a fan base just like mike, mike too with the uh, suze Kut with his french podcast it takes a while but then once you build it you have your own people it's yeah. your own community yeah. so why would you go through a middleman you go directly to your people yeah you go directly to them you go to a venue that they're comfortable with, you, they're happy too because they know that no one's going to fuck you. They're like, yo, if I'm paying money to watch this shit, I want the guy that I'm fucking paying money to get it, you know? Yeah. So it works, it, it works like that. Um, it works better for everyone. Just that, it takes a lot more work. You got to build it. You got to build yeah. that base. You got to, you know? The foundation. You got to build a foundation. That's why I'm always, that's why I'm doing a million and one things. That's why now I have all these videos coming out. I got like a lot of behind the scenes beside it, like the Ottawa, the Just for Laugh stuff, that's going to come out soon too. I got to edit all that shit. You know, give people more content. Newer fans come yeah. along. And then when you develop a good base in the city, bam, you visit it. You go do stand up there. Yeah. yeah. I tried to, um, I tried to do a little more commentary in Ottawa. Oh, while you were videotaping, I yeah. haven't looked at it. I just saw little clips. I just because I, I transferred from the GoPro. Like at some point, we passed by the Parliament. I'm like, this is the Parliament. Oh, whatever. I'll see that. It's just that uh, the good thing about the GoPro, I just wanted to check, is anytime it's in daylight, like because it's the 4K. Oh, it looks so nice. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, it's such a good fucking camera. Yeah. And the stabilization on that shit. Stabilization helps because you're walking. And you know what else? The um, the audio surprisingly. It captures good audio. Like, it's very, you could hear really? it. Really? Yeah, because when you recorded me at the, the Yuckucks at the club, uh -huh. I, I listened to a clip. I could hear myself. Really? I could hear, like, if I posted online, I, you could hear me. Like, you could see, you could hear the bit. Like, you could enjoy it, is what I mean. Very nice. Yeah, you could hear it. It's, um, so yeah. That's a sick uh, boss poster. This one behind. Yeah, it, the, the, it's not even a poster, it's one of those metal disc plates. Yeah. I have a couple, and the, we're going to move some stuff around too. The right behind Poseidon, where you see the uh, two drink minimum one, that one's going to go soon. It's going to move somewhere else, and we're going to put another display there because we already have a uh, two drink minimum behind me. So that one's going to bounce, and we're going to put another poster that we have up. I think it might be either the, the uh, Death Note one or the Spartan Helmet one behind right there. We'll figure that one out. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what we're doing. And also, uh, I have the setup too, so I'm going to start uh, in the next two weeks or something. Doing Twitch streams, video games. Now, there's one game that I guarantee you guys are going to see, and that's me playing Pro Evolution Soccer when it comes out, oh, the new one. Oh, shit. Uh, but I'm going to get an adventure game, probably one of the old um, uh, Witchers, Witcher 2 probably, something I have yeah. to play, because people told me that they find it hilarious um, for me to be surprised and to comment on these adventure games and get frustrated. So I figured, whatever, I'm they're gonna also, what's nice about the Witcher games is uh, the dialogues. Yeah, yeah. So Those I go. People are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna have fun too, because I think it'll be fun. With people enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, and you know, there's a chat and stuff. Yeah. So, and then I could have you over too. You, you'll have fun as well. So I think it'll. Um, like I'll give you an example. Um, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. Again, but man, I've noticed through this game, most of the dialogues I skip right through. Not enjoyable. It's because it's repetitive. It's all the same, the same uh, cookie cutter dialogues. You know, it's the same bullshit, just worded differently. You know, D, uh, D Mills, baby. I like that D Mills Productions, uh, Mr. Miller. You don't have to download Twitch. Twitch is a, a website, right? Yeah. You just have to go to a website because the app. You can download the app. I don't know if it's fun. Anyone who knows Twitch on uh, in the chat right now, is the app worth it, or is it fun to watch on the app, or is it better to just go on the website? Because there is an app, but I, I last time I had used the app, it was fucking pretty shit. Really? Yeah, I feel like it's better on the computer to web, oh, use it on the web. 
if anybody in the chat knows, because they know they know Twitch. But uh, most people in the chat are fucking wizards. They know about this shit. No. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do. I think it'll be fun. Add right. that again. That's another thing you do. You you and then you touch different bases. You touch people who are on Twitch and like, who the fuck is this asshole? No. And then if they like it, they're like, oh fuck, he does stand up too. Bam, when's he in my city? No. You branch out. And then, like I said, the whole point is so you don't depend on the gatekeepers. You don't depend on the club owners. You because that's how it was back in the day. Ask any comedian who's been doing comedy for a while. What I do now, they couldn't do back then. Make it just, just it wasn't even on skill. You'd make it a lot of times from friends because there'd be a lot of good comics, you know, and you couldn't all get booked. No. And then you would do the circuit and it's wherever, you know, people that you were good with would put you up. And then the other people would never be seen. Did you hear that? Was there almost an accident? Almost. They didn't crash, but they, they hit the brakes really, really. No. Bam. Uh, stay on that. I'm just going to go get some water. I'm really cool. thirsty. Go ahead. So Nyla says that on the computer it's better, but if you're on a phone, the app is okay. It's good, she says. Okay. So at least you know on desktop the web is fine, but for mobile the app is good. Yeah, for mobile, obviously, you'd rather use an app. if You don't want to use the mobile um, uh, browsers. That kind of sucks dick. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, the, I, I normally, if I, man, I haven't been on, like it's rare that I'll be on Twitch. The last time I was on Twitch was when YouTube was down here. So we just live streamed on Twitch instead. Um, but we don't really make a habit of it here. We, you know, we're, we're stuck on YouTube. This is where the channel's growing. So that's why Twitch, I want it to be a little different. I don't want it to just be Penthouse Live. So we'll do the video game stuff. And I think with Poseidon coming over, and we have the camera, we have the GoPro. So you'll be able to see us. Uh, it's pretty childish in my opinion. You mean the website Twitch is childish, like the way it works? It's another, it's another streaming site. It's like this. It's just that it's mostly for, for video games as far as I understand. But it's not just for video games because I, uh, my buddy Yan, um, you know him from Suzakut, he streams on Twitch and on YouTube, I think, simultaneously. But uh, he's, he streams on, on, on Twitch and it's just a podcast. He just does his podcast. He doesn't really do anything about video games. But what he'll do is he'll invade other people's channels. There's a chat and talk show section. Yeah, you see? So, uh, well, m yeah, so we could do a talk show section because I think I posted old episodes of the Pentel's podcast back there as a failsafe in case uh, in case YouTube ever takes us down. Marvin, can you believe how uh, cold it is? Marvin, where is it cold? What are you talking about? It is, it is a little cold in here, though. To be honest, because I don't show a little cold. No, I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm very, very comfortable. So, Nicolas says that there's a great talk section on Twitch and also a, a lot of bouncing boobies IRL shows, too. IRL, isn't IRL in real life? It's where they videotape people shake their tits. So there's a lot about Twitch that I don't understand, that I don't know, but I'll figure it out. Um, how about opening your own comedy club, Pantelis, that is pay per view, live broadcast, and live? You know what kind of money you need and the. the yeah, and up the, front. Yeah, and to, build, to build yeah. a club. Yeah, and employees. It's a lot of work. Then I can't do stand-up. It's, uh, yeah. it's going to be too much work. There's also rent yeah. if you don't own the land. If you own the land, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. Plus, Mike already has a comedy club. So yeah. There's one. Uh, but you don't normally... You know why you can't live stream it, uh, Silver and Gold? You can't live stream it because uh, maybe you're working on a set. Uh, maybe you're taking that, that set on tour. Mm. You don't want people in other states to already know all your jokes. Then there's no point for them to come out and watch yeah. it. It's not going to be fun for them, you know? It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be, yeah. like, it, when I did Pantelis is better than you, uh, just for laughs, so that hour, I could take it around now, and I did, mm, mm, I did, like, half of that hour at, uh, or a bit less at, uh, in Ottawa, and then the rest were also new jokes, which I shouldn't have done, I should have just kept that hour, but you keep building, yeah. and then what happens is, let's say in a couple of months, I'm comfortable, and I film that original hour, and then the second it's gone, and I could put it on YouTube, for example, um, then I could continue with the new stuff that I was building at the same time, you know, and replace mm. it, and then continue. So. And have a timeline of jokes, and even some. What's what's nice? What's what I like about you is some of your old jokes pay off, and will create new jokes. Yeah, yeah, because I do stupid shit to yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, the best is when people, the jokes that they find the craziest that they think they're like, "Yo, that was, can't believe you made that up." I was like, "No, that's a, that's a real life story." <laughs> uh, it's it's it, but it's not just about living them. It's just about putting them down. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes something funny happens. And it's hard to, it's hard to relay it on stage. Yeah, and then, you need a you need a punchline at the end of the day when you're on stage. You can't just say a story and be like, "Yeah, it was funny." Yeah, exactly. You know, you have to be there, guys. Yeah. So sometimes just the setup is a little difficult, and then other times it's uh it's it's a nightmare to make stuff stuff that is funny on paper make it funny on stage. Sometimes on paper it comes yeah. out well, and you just can't make it funny on stage. Sometimes 
shit that's sad comes out really funny on stage. You don't even know. It's weird. It's weird, man. No. So weird. Yeah, without audience feedback, it would be v- hell for a comedian. Yeah. I mean, look at me yesterday. I was upset. I told him. I was like, man, I didn't get a good reaction from the crowd. They weren't laughing. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I saw the video back, and they were. So I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me on stage. Yeah. You even got you even got some people to laugh that were being kind of like stuck up little the whole night. babies to other comedians and weren't laughing at all, even though some of the jokes were funny. Yeah. You got them to, you broke them. Yeah, if anybody was going to break them, bro. It's this fucking guy. Oh. The greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> this guy right here. You know what I am? It's like I'm always losing at tag. Wait, what? I'm it all the time, bro. That's me. Did that go over your head? I'm confused. God damn it, Poseidon. That's a good one. I guess it's something a rapper could say. It was a good line. I'm it. When you lose a tag, you're it. You're it. Yeah. Tag. I'm it. Like I'm the shit. I'm it. Still, really, I explained it to you. You still know? No? Okay. All right. You're not retard adjacent anymore. You're just plain retarded. (laughs) I don't know. This one's not clicking for me. So I'm it. Like, I'm I'm the shit. I'm it. You're like, you're like a gangster. Jesus fucking. Are you crazy, bro? (laughs) Yeah, way over his head. Everyone's freaking out. They're like, the void. They all got it. Yeah. You see, fucking D Mills is like, wait for it. He's going to get it. He's not going to get it. Yeah. I'm saying that I'm a creepy clown from the sewers. Remember the movie It? Okay. That's what you meant. No, that's not what I meant. You goddamn fucking idiot. (laughs) When you say, like, you know, he's it. He's the thing. He's it right now. Like, he's the boss. Kind of like that. Did you, I don't know, did you grow up in Zimbabwe? I don't understand. <laughs> it's okay. Is it like when Lil Wayne goes, I'm the bomb, like, tick, tick? Because he's the bomb? Is that what you meant? We got to start handing out guns. <laughs> Just hand them to people. Oh, God. <sighs> Frank, people are saying, please hit him. <laughs> like, that's how mad you're getting. People are watching this and like, I can't, I'm going to lose my fucking shit right now. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, what I said was actually a pretty good line, I realized. Okay. It's uh, a rapper could probably use it. You know, I'm constantly losing a tag. I'm it. <sighs> Oh, okay. You have to be fucking. It just clicked. Okay, tag, like the game tag, where people tag you and you're it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Who are you? Oh, my God. What is happening in your head right now? Oh, my Lord. Are you serious? I need medication. (laughs) Yeah, you need a lot of medication, bro. God damn it. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I don't know why I didn't get that one. That was so simple. I would fucking hit you right now, but I don't want to get AIDS. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Wait, Christ, that is fucked. Speaking of AIDS, I got to go get checked. For AIDS? Well, just STDs in general. Why? What have you been doing? I've been fucking some questionable women. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You do fuck some questionable women. Yeah. It's because I can't keep my dick in my pants. Yeah, yeah. I have a hard time. Like, I'm very easy. Yeah, you are. You're a I'm fucking, very easy. you're a whore. Like, a girl could touch my thigh. I'm and like, you're all right, like, all we're right, fucking. We're married. All right, yeah, yeah. That's all it took to suck my dick. <laughs> uh, Sebastian says, "When's my next show in Montreal?" Uh, tonight I'm gonna pass by the Comedy Nest to do a couple of minutes. I want to try some stuff, um, and then shit, I gotta check. I think Friday I'm doing a show with Sid. Uh, I think it's at Peroni's. Uh, Sebastian, you you could tell me where does he do his shows on Fridays? I'm doing that show, and then Wednesday there's some new show that they invited me to. It's just a lab, so you could try shit. So I'm going to go test out some material there on Wednesday. I think it's in Dorval. Wait, yeah. what, what? Yeah, there's a new show. Yeah, so Friday I'm going to be at Peroni's. I think that show's at 8. Yeah. Tonight I'm just going to pass by the nest for uh, do like 10 minutes just to fuck around. Um, I'm going to try the stuff that you like yesterday, the segues. I'm going I'm to try to work on those. And then Dorval, you're there. No BS Wednesday. So we're going to be there together. Okay, you're yeah. going to be. Wait, what time are you doing uh, a set there? Where? Dorval? Yeah. I think it starts at 8, I think. They normally wh- start what time are you going to be on, you think? Oh, I don't know. I'll talk to the guys. Why, you want to drive by from work? Because I could literally go during my lunch. Yeah, but I'm not doing anything. Like I, it, They said like, I, it's a lapse. Like, it's a test shit. I'm just working yeah, stuff no, out. No. So it's, it's not worth it for you to come when I'm working stuff no, out. It's no, worth no. for you to come when I'm doing good shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah an OBS is banned from... Uh, from the uh, from the nest. No, I haven't seen uh, when I see uh, when I see David. I'm actually gonna ask him because I'm very because it is funny to me. But uh, you know, 
Who's banned? Why? Why? We gotta know now. Who? Why did he get Sebastian? But he told us last week. You were here when he told us. Yeah. Yeah. He got banned because he um, something happened with the yucks. I think because the it was when the yucks was was bullying people here. They said you we could sign you for our club, but if you do our club, you can't do other clubs. So like comedians like me and shit refused to go. They were like, "Fuck you! You're not gonna tell me what to do." But then comedians like fucking Sebastian would go went, and so the Ness said like, "Fuck you! If you go there, that's what it sounds like." So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to David. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people. I remember um, those other comics too that had went, but I don't remember them getting banned. But I remember it was weird. It caused a uh, it caused a ripple, some in tension, the force. Yeah, a rift. I even remember the story, and I wasn't here live. <laughs> Emerald says, "Yeah, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a tard." Poseidon, he forgets easily. He's uh, uh. yeah. Poseidon's last job was putting wheels on miscarriages. <laughs> Oh, God, your ears are going to start bleeding soon. Who, me? Poseidon's last job was a hand job. Yes, and his dad is forever grateful. Wait, what? No. What? What the hell, bro? What the hell, bro? That's gay, bro. Is it? Yeah. No. Unless it's your father. Yeah, then it's, then it's incest. And then it's... <laughs> That's what it is. It's gay incest. It's gay incest. Gay incest that will not uh, bring about uh, retarded children. Except for the guy who gave his dad a hand job. That's pretty fucking retarded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's happening with this whole Epstein thing? Are people forgetting that the Clintons killed people? Is that what's happening? We're not talking about it anymore? We're not allowed? It's true, eh? Mm. Fuck. Nothing happening now makes sense. Even yeah. in football. That guy, what's his name? Antonio Brown. He's uh, He plays for the Raiders this year. Yeah. And he he's refusing to play if they don't let him wear his helmet that he likes, his favorite helmet. Because his favorite helmet... The league has rules about the safety of helmets, right? So you have to wear the regulation helmet, okay. the one that keeps you safe. Okay, okay. And he's like, "No, I want to wear my old helmet. I love my helmet." What's his helmet like? It's though? his older helmet. It's not. It's under regulations. He can't wear it. It's not as safe. They say, "Wear new helmets." He's like, "I'm not going to play if I don't wear my helmet." He says, and so he's willing to walk away from 31 million dollars to not play football. <laughs> what? Yeah, my favorite helmet. Yeah. Bro, it, for $31 if, million, dollars, if they wrapped me up in bubble wrap and told me go play, I would play. Even yeah, yeah, if yeah. I looked like a fool. Bro, you, you'd, you'd, you'd play football naked with your father if they yeah. gave $31 million. Yeah. But for th- like that's a bitch move. That You have to be a real bitch. And it's not even like we want to shoot you. Like We want to keep you safe. We're going to give you a better helmet. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> not crazy that is. But that's you know what I think that is? It's because... Man, I don't know how to explain this, but I, I think it, it's... It's taking it, shit for granted. Yeah, and it's also a first world problem yeah. thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like we've gone to the point where even black people have first world problems. Okay, that was super racist. I should have never what said that. What the <laughs> fuck just happened? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this show took a turn for the... <laughs> my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even Sebastian's like, tab out of knack, yeah. <laughs> his true colors come out. <laughs> yeah, damn, I'll tell you something. His, his true colors are not black, apparently. None of his <laughs> colors are black. Jesus. <laughs> they are uh, colors from the uh, offensive crayon box. Yeah, they are. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, the point, yeah, his true colors are brown. <laughs> Here comes the channel ban. <laughs> yeah. um, Poseidon just outraces bagel guy. <laughs> Oh, did was Poseidon uh, was sorry was the bagel guy back on Jim and Sam and he was saying some crazy shit? Did you see the video? Was that a video of him on the phone talking to a chick? Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw the what video of that? him yelling like, "Why, you, if you don't like me, why are you messaging me like all these other bitches?" Yeah, this guy, there's a reason why he doesn't get laid. Yeah. He's a piece of garbage. But from the front, he looked okay. But from the side, he looked even worse. He looks like a goblin. Yeah, he's not an ugly did guy. You see his yeah, he's not a good looking guy. He's not an ugly guy. Did you see his nose? The way it, he looks like a midget witch. Yeah, the, the mistake is giving him attention. I already said it, Emerald. The bagel guy followed me on Twitter like a month ago when he first became popular. I don't know why. I never followed him back. I'm like, I don't give a shit about you, bagel cocksucker. Bagel guy. Hmm. Yeah. You know, if he was smart, he would take that, open up a store. Because he's the bagel guy now. Let me ask right? you a question. Let me ask you a question, though. Call it. Let me ask you a question. The Bagel Guys Bagel Store. Yeah, okay. Call it whatever you want. Let and me make ask you a question. the sickest bagels, bro. Okay, let me ask you a question. This guy, this guy can't even manage his height, okay? You think he's going <laughs> to be able to run a goddamn bagel shop? Are you crazy? Are you insane? Uh, 
He can't even manage his temper. What he's I'm getting, saying is, if he keeps he, getting beat up by real adults, I think he's gonna manage a bagel store. Are you insane? Nonsense. What I'm saying is, if he mellowed out, took some money, made some money, took it, invested it, took it easy. You know what I mean? And then maybe down the line, he'd find himself a nice little wife because he made money. Let me ask you. Obviously, she'd be with him because of the money, but still. Nicola in the chat has made a great point beside him. Would you actually buy bagels from there? You think anybody would pay for those bagels? You know there's a chance there's semen or spit in them. Why would you get bagels there? Mm, That's true. It would be a terrible business decision for the guy. Look, he's going to ride this wave of attention. It's going to obviously end because he has no substance. There's nothing to offer. He might have like a celebrity fake fight in him, but if it's a real fake fight... Yeah, with like I don't know the Lenny Dykstra thing. If it's a real boxing match, he's gonna get killed. If it's not, if it's fake, he might win and it'll be like set up or he they might should, whatever. But if it's real, he's gonna get murdered. They should get somebody like six foot eight. First of all, to fight him. How's he gonna fight a regularly grown adult? There's no way his his fists are gonna reach Dykstra's face. It's not possible. How tall is he? He would have to get on his knees and get. Pun- it's not gonna happen. If I was in that, like, look, if I was in that fight, right? You, bro, he doesn't have a page for that yet. He's not. So I'm going to Google if, how if, tall is Bagel Guy. So if he would, but what do you care how tall he is? I'm telling you, you can I'm just see, he's smaller than your dad. He's a. No. Nah. Yeah, he's a little, he's, he's, he's basically almost a midget. How, you know how that fight would start? I would just step on him. <laughs> yeah, he might be able to do porn. Yeah. Oh, you he's know what? He's too narcissistic, Sam. And that's true. Um, he talks about his IQ. Really? He talks about his IQ? You know what sucks about him, though? Like he was, he he didn't fully grow into a regular adult, but he was so close to being a midget. He could have done other stuff, because as a midget, what's your IQ? One thirty in inches. Because <laughs> as, because, because as a midget, you can at least, uh, you know, as a midget, you can. There's there's stuff that you could do as a midget that only midgets can do, right? Hmm. Like. Midget porn. Yeah. Midget but he's strippers. too angry. No, no, no midget's going to want to fuck him. No, obviously. But like, You don't want to get punched in the head and yelled at while you're recording a like porn. What, what, what jobs do midgets have that no other person can get on the planet? Uh, helping build toys for Santa. <coughs> what, am I wrong? Santa doesn't exist. Yeah, he does. No, he does. Are you crazy? No, Where do you think you get all your Christmas gifts from when you're a good kid? Year. I was never a good kid, and I still got. Oh, well, that's why you don't believe in him. That's your fault. You were a shit kid, but yeah, Santa's a hundred percent real. Why do you think I got all this cool shit on Christmas? Yeah. I'm good all year to everyone. Bam, all those cool ass gifts. Some of them have your name on it. You were supposed to get them, but like he's shit, so I'll leave him here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, like also, uh, th- uh, I think midgets are the only people that could be jockeys for horses. You know, the people that ride the horses during horse races. Yeah, those are all the, like little. Why? They're like little alien people because a regular sized human's too heavy. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But they're like thin. They're not like midget midgets. They're like weird creeps. Yeah, they're, they're like, like aliens. They're like short people. With like thin, I don't know. They're, uh, they're like aliens or some shit. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. It's people that weigh 100 pounds. <laughs> I belong to Densa. What's uh, Densa? Well, you know Mensa? Yeah. You know Mensa? No. So why'd you say yeah? Well, what's Mensa? Well, keep the fact that you said that is good. That's what they want. They don't need people like you knowing what Mensa is. He grabs his phone and Googles it right away because he feels like this is good for a live broadcast. Let me just put everything on hold and show people that I'm a fucking retard. Here comes Poseidon's discrimination again. Yep. Did you see the real last podcast where they watched the video of the mayor killing the stallion with a kick? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, t- I spoke to you about this. Remember? Did I? Wa- I didn't. I don't think I watched it though. I, I don't want to watch it. I, I did. You tell me about this. Yeah. I didn't watch it. So basically, what happened was there was a stallion. He was in heat. He wanted to fuck. The mayor, oh yeah, you talked to me yeah, about. Yeah, the this mayor thing. wasn't. She wasn't having none of it. She did not want to get raped. And uh, the stallion is like going nuts, like ready to fuck her. And she's like running around. She doesn't want to get fucked. At some point, he goes to fuck her, and then he she just kicks him right here in the middle of the head. Killed him instantly. Like this. Jesus Christ. The stallion falls, <laughs> shits himself. That's terrible, though. That's yeah. yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, there's a light in my face. Now, what, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Sam Sidewalk. Yeah, it's a different conversation. So then I don't know what that's about. Uh, to be honest, Mensa kind of sounds like a gay club. Mensa. It does. Or a dance. Mensa. It says here, it says here, Mensa. Mensa is the largest and oldest high 
IQ society in the world. Yeah. It is a non-profit organization open to people who score at the 98th percentile or higher on a standardized supervised IQ or other proved intelligence test. Yeah, it's just it's it's in the every every meeting, it's just the bagel guy and Owen Benjamin. They sit there and talk about how smart they are. It says there's 134,000 people. Yeah, but only two of them matter, bro. <laughs> that's all that's all that's in the room. So yeah, I'm looking at different cities. Uh, I can't wait to get another city and, and uh, meet people that watch the show and shit. That's Going to different amazing. cities is fun, man. Something Last I heard, it. someone put up the money and he came up with an excuse to not do it. Oh, I don't know what we're talking about. Not do what? Oh, uh-huh. we're still happened? talking about the fights. I don't know anymore. Forget. I because that's the problem. If I get in too late to these conversations, I can't. I can't focus because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I don't. I don't even know how you could. I can't focus. Period. I need me a high IQ QTGF with organic cooter. That should be that should be your uh, Twitter tagline. That should be in your bio on Twitter. I don't know what that means though. You're still on Twitter, you know. By the way, Bagel Boss is five fl- five feet. That's nothing. Yeah, on the dot. You take shits bigger than him. Yeah. Yeah. What happened with Owen Benjamin? No BS says. Uh, go look at the chat. I guess go. Uh, I don't know all the details. I haven't followed uh, Owen Benjamin's story in a while. I remember when he um. Got into a fight with some YouTubers and he got them demonetized and shit like that. He went crazy at some point. Yeah, Poseidon Johnson. Uh, my friend Little Rod did midget wrestling and we told him we found a horse for him to ride. I thought my miniature horse, uh, I brought my miniature horse to the bar for him. That's funny. Uh-huh. So Poseidon recorded enough good stuff on the GoPro to make a second video, I guess, for Ottawa. Now, the more towns we go to, now I've realized. I'm going to have to bring the GoPro uh, and I'm going to have to bring uh, Poseidon because I like these behind the scenes stuff. You know, if we get a nice little crew together, uh, it would have been good if I had someone who knew how to edit videos with me too. So I don't have to do everything. But, uh, you know, Homer's not going to learn now. You're not going to learn now. So I'll just keep doing it. But, well, I kind of did try to learn. It's not that difficult. Yeah, that's what an idiot would say. Yeah. What I'm saying is, like, I, I could learn. I can continue learning. I, I don't know if you can continue learning. Well, why don't we try one video with me and I, I edit it? We can't. I, like, again, you're starting and you're like, why don't we try one video? That's uh, We don't have time. Yeah. We don't have time for that. Yeah. You don't even have software to edit. Yeah, I do. What software do you have to edit? The Adobe. The Adobe Premiere Pro. Where do you have that? On my computer. Really? Yeah. When did you edit a video? Remember, we're supposed to do the whole thing with uh, with George. Yeah, but have you tried to open it recently? Uh, no. Yeah. But I could get it torrented again and adjust it and update it. Try that. Just make your own videos and let's see how that works. Uh, so, uh, Sony Vegas is free. Bro, I can get you Sony Vegas for free, he says. King Luffy. Sony Vegas. W- w- what's it called? Sony Vegas, he says. Sony Vegas. It's free? He says he could get it to you for free. It's either free or he's going to get you a... a a rip. Oh, but I can rip it myself. I know how to do these things. So do it. Why don't you do that? Well, because I like Adobe. Well, everybody likes Adobe. Nobody uses Sony Vegas. Psychopaths use Sony Vegas. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, I don't know if you... Because I think you can only rip old versions of uh, Adobe. Because now everything's They have that cloud-based thing. Like me, it's all in the cloud. So yeah, I read something I, about it. Uh, so I, basically, it always checks... Every time you you launch it, it makes sure you're connected online and it makes sure you have an account. The new versions, like so, basically you would have to have an old version and you know not update it. But then you miss out on all this shit that they're doing. Yeah, I'd have to pay money to buy the full version. No, no, I think uh, am I not allowed to share my account with one person? I have no clue. Wait, if you sign in as me, we just can't use it at the same time. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Well, technically, yeah, because how would they know? You're just signing in from a different location. Right, yeah, something. I don't. Know. We'll figure something out, yeah. I guess. To get, oh, it's hilarious now. The lights on your fucking face. Yeah, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you look funny right now. Yeah, I do. I can see it. Yeah, it looks like a like an alien movie. Oh, by the way, speaking of movies, the new uh, It movie comes out in two weeks, huh? It two. You guys are excited about that shit? I like that movie. Did you see the poster for uh, It and, and It, but in French? No. I was like, ugh. No, I didn't see it. Why would I see it? Because what is it? We're Poseidon? in Montreal. We're. Okay. <laughs> We're in Montreal, and all the fucking banners they put on the movie theater are in French. It just writes, saw. What do you mean? It sounds so weird in French. It's C-A. That's it. 
ça. Because you know ça. it in French, it's ça. Like it smells. Isn't ça that? Ça. No, like if when you say it smells. That, yeah. That. Ça pue. No, no, but the, uh, that, that smells. That is ça, but S-A. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it is? Or no, the, no. It is ça, C with the little S under the C. French grammar is fucking weird, and then A. Okay. So that's it. But just the pronunciation of it in French sounds weird. Just ça. So that's what it's called? called ça? Ça. That's, it's called ça? That's ça. the movie? Yeah. It's in called French. ça in French? Yeah. Ça. Oh, why don't they suck my dick? Bro? That's a, <laughs> it's a terrible fucking... Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Uh, no BS says that he talked with the staff in Ottawa and they gave me four stars out of five, he says. He put four stars there. Well, fuck you, SB. Tell him I should be a goddamn five star... <laughs> No, he says that was fantastic, he says. No, no, I'm joking. SB, I'm just fucking with you. I'm busting your balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, they all had fun. I talked to the staff. They all uh, they all had a good time. Uh, the only thing I forgot to do that I'm sad about that yesterday is that I wanted to tell people that it was the um, the waitress's birthday so they could tip her more. And I forgot because instead I fucking focused on you. Oh, it was yesterday her birthday? No, it wasn't really her birthday. But I was going to say it so that they could tip her more. Oh, because they're like, oh, it's her birthday. I'll tip her more, you know. Just to, why not get 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 tips for the the staff? Well, it's a good thing you didn't say that because I would have tried to have birthday sex maybe with the waitress. Why you think she wanted to have birthday rape? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Birthday rape, the gift that keeps on coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Anyways. Well, I'm glad the staff had fun, at least. <coughs> Nobias spoke with uh, the staff, so. And the staff got to see both shows, so yeah. they saw different different stuff, different jokes, and it's good for them. Um, are you headlining at the Comedy Nest soon? No, there's no way I'm going to headline, the because then, then I can't work out my shit. You shouldn't, I don't know if you should headline in your own, well, I won't headline the Comedy Nest, that's for sure, because I think David still has his rule about you have to do a late night show. Mm. Yeah, that's the rule that he has. It's not about time. It's about late night, like Conan or that. Yeah. So I don't see. But even if I would work something out with him, that I don't think that would be a good idea because then I can't work out my shit. If they'll see my full hour, yeah. then I can't go anywhere. No, no, I did. Joe, no, no. I, I, that's what I'm saying is I, I think I could probably talk to him, um, especially if he has a weekend that he hasn't. But it's just that then that means that in the city, I kind of burn all my material. No, yeah. you don't want that. No, I want to be able to, to fuck around and practice yeah. in your own city. You want to be and, able, yeah, to tease people. And then do the hour around, and then you could do it when you're ready to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah maybe then, maybe then, uh, Sebastian, yeah. So maybe at the end of at the end of this run, of the, like the hour that I have now, at the end of the run, so like in May or something. Maybe. I don't know. I'll talk to him. But you're right. Like Back in the day, it was late night. Now, I mean, Joe Rogan's the biggest show for comics. That's the Carson. So technically, I have that. Uh, and I have Just for Laughs, too. So I, I've, got, I've got legit credits. Um, two yeah. just for last credits. Two just for last. Yeah, two years. High five. Yeah. Pow. But uh, you yeah. know how it is, S- Sebastian. You know how it is. Fucking uh, rules, politics, the sort. But it's my home club. But then, because you know it's fucked up if you do it. Because I'm there all the time. Like I go a lot to do sets. It's weird. Then if I headline, then what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go the next week and do twenty of those minutes. That I, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's a little it's, strange. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a little strange. So that's why I think it would have to only be when I'm ready to retire like this material that yeah. I talk with him, I figure something out because then I'm not going to do that again anyway. Yeah. Film it. Maybe film it there. Oh, that might be a good idea. Yeah. If I'm going to film it, I film it there. Yeah. You have one pending. You see fucking advertise cast. You have one pending. No, I'm not going to prove it because I'm dealing with them directly because you guys are fucking thieves. God damn. Wait, what? What did you say? Advertise cast. The, the whole... Uh, they paid you a penny? No, 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 no. They, they, they asked me. They go, you have an ad pending. Okay, but okay. I'm not, I heard I'm not, penny. I'm, I'm not going through them again because they haven't paid me for another one. So what do you mean an ad pending? And you know what's crazy is I get more hits than what I promised, and they still didn't pay me. Tell them to sakuru the kakaru. I'm doing now. Fuck them. Yeah. No, I'm dealing with people directly. It's so much easier, bro. You want something? Do with me directly. I haven't been on a horse in ages, but equestrian girls are ninety percent right here. Let me tell you something, Marvin. I haven't ridden a horse since I was a little kid as well. Uh. And now because of Christopher Reeve, I think I'd be scared too. I think I'd be scared to fall and break my neck. 
As a kid, you weren't afraid of these things. No. I'm also a heavy guy. I feel bad. Yeah. See you Wednesday. See you Wednesday, uh, Sebastian. No, yeah, horses used to ride with 300-pound giants on them. Bro. No, no. I, I'm not saying they can't handle me. They can handle me, bro. Yeah. I'm saying, very strong. Do you not? I feel bad for the goddamn horse is what I'm saying. Did you see the video of the fat woman that was riding a horse and she kicked her off? No, but that makes me happy. <laughs> it was this really fat woman. She looked like 400 pounds. And the horse got fed up and just <laughs> tossed her. Um, I, I used to go horseback riding a lot. My dad used to bring me and my brothers a lot. And one time I fell off the horse and almost got kicked in the face. I had to roll under the fence. So I fell. And as I fell, I rolled, but I almost got stepped on. And one time my brother was bringing uh, his horse back you into had a the... Horse? Uh, well, no, it, they, they didn't belong to us, the trainers, but, you know, we would uh, uh, pet, we would clean them. We would do the whole process of a horse, you know what I mean, to prepare them and everything, except for the um, except for the hooves. So, uh, you know, as he's bringing his horse back, I don't know what he did. I guess the horse got spooked or something, like she saw me. Spooky and she, horses. She, I, and my brother, he was a little kid. As he's holding the horse, the horse just goes like this. This is how strong these animals are, we forget. Look, she goes like this, throws my brother. Thank God there was like a stack of hay there, and he just landed in the hay. Hey, <laughs> how's that going for you? How's that working out for you? <laughs> and then he never wanted to go horseback riding again. I wonder why, Poseidon. <laughs> I don't know why this pussy didn't want to go horseback riding again. <laughs> mm. How is your brother? Your brother, do you still good. see them? Or do they call you? Do they miss you? Yeah, I, I called him because uh, he logged into too many devices with my Netflix account. Oh. And I was like, oh, motherfucker. You know what you should do? Change yeah. your fucking passwords. And then he can't no, I want to let him use it. I want to let him use it. But I want to. I want him to be responsible. I ha- I've never had a problem, by the way, in like uh, years that I'm using that okay. he's using it. Because if, if too many devices, that means that he probably gave it to his girlfriend too. No, what happened was he probably logged into uh, at his girlfriend's place and forgot to log out. Because he would log in at his girlfriend's place, but he this time he probably. Anyways, uh, he got a job at the casino. Oh, which, nice. Uh, which I pushed him to get because yeah. um, at first he was like, oh, but you know, I'm a busboy at this place. Nah, Is he I a fluffer? What is he doing at the casino? What are you talking about? What does he do at the casino? A blackjack. Blackjack dealer. He's a dealer? Yeah. Your brother's a retard. This guy's a blackjack dealer. It's amazing. He's not retarded. He's adjacent to... Oh, Jesus Christ. You're so mean. Wait, but, this uh, is amazing. When is he there? I'm going to go play some blackjack. Uh, l- Late nights. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to go just to fuck with him. Why, bro? Leave my brother alone, bro. Hit me. He has a girlfriend. Oh, I'm going to make working. him feel weird. He pays bills at home. Yeah. He started taking on more responsibilities. Let him be, bro. No, no. This makes me even happier. I want to sit there and then fuck with him. Be like, hit me. Then he puts a card. I go, what are you doing, pussy? I said, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's some psychopath shit, I bro. know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, but you know what? That would be an amazing scene to film. Mm. Like in a movie or something. <laughs> I said, hit me. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Uh, I pushed him to get that job at the casino. You see, I push you to be a human yeah. being. You push him. You see, that's, a, that's paying it forward. Because he's, he's afraid. He's afraid. Like, he, he had a job at a restaurant, and they've been promising him now for s- five years that he, they were going to make him a waiter. And they, they still haven't made him a waiter. They're just jerking him around. I'm like, dude, even if you become a waiter. and you He's make getting jerked around. You're getting jerked off. It's all in the family. <laughs> Let me tell you. People of the internet that are watching Pentel's live right now. You got to know that sometimes if they're fucking dicking you around like that, you got to take a leap of faith. I know it's scary, yeah. but you got to jump and find something else. Yeah. Because like, if uh, you stay there when they're taking advantage of you, you're not going to go nowhere. You're going to be stuck in the same place. It's like it's like at Best Buy when he told me there was commission and I found out there wasn't. The first yeah. thing I did was quit. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, but also you were younger then and also yeah. that you were a retard because you found out months into it. Three months into it. After my training. How did, you, how did it take three months? How did that never come up with anyone else? Huh? Well, because I was in training for the three months. So here's the thing. I, I mm. Because I was in training. But what I'm saying is, how did it not come up in a conversation with an empl- with a coworker? I didn't really like the people, mm. I guess. They were these uh, fake thugs, bro. You know those fake thugs? So look at this. So D, the homie D Mills says that he went from a dishwasher to restaurant manager in four years. First of all, that's the American dream, just so everybody knows, that you could actually work and then get promoted, right? That's how it should be. So in four years, if they're promising one upgrade and they're not giving it to you, you fucking leave. Five years, my brother. Five years. This guy in four years, 
he started managing the goddamn restaurant. Yeah. So, which then you get management experience. And then if that restaurant's too shitty for you, whatever, you go to another restaurant, you do these fucking, you know, yeah. moves. And you, yeah, and you, you could be a manager there too, but you just get paid a little bit more. Yeah. Or the same, but a little bit more, you know, and papa. Yeah. That's how you do it. And, um, and even when he started the casino, he he was worried because he's like, ah, oh, they're not giving me enough hours, and that, but it's the casino, bro. They're not just going to trust anybody. Yeah, obviously. You know what I mean? So what happened was he, he was like, nah, fuck it, I'm going to quit. Like, he got spooked because we're only giving him one one or two days of work a week. And now I told him, no, no, toughen it out. Trust me. They'll give you more hours. Now he toughened it out. He has more hours. He works regular hours. He has, like, a regular, kind of like a regular schedule. Yeah, that's how it works, man. You can do your training. But yeah, you test exactly. Traveling. It's the goddamn fucking casino, bro, like most yeah. people. Like, uh, the, what, what are they going to do? And now he's like, he's like, I'm glad you pushed me nah, nah, to get that job. And I'm going to do this for four more years. I also want to train more into martial arts. He wants to become, uh, he wants to open up his own dojo. Okay, well, whatever. Cobra Kai over there. Yeah. That's fine. His own, uh, but the <laughs> MMA dojo, mixed martial arts. Well, MMA isn't really uh, a, a martial art, but like, you know, where he teaches, he will have mo- multiple teachers. He wants to open up a building where he can go punch strangers in the face. I Basically. understand that. I get him. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Does Poseidon have a secret passion? Only one for Christ, sir. Uh, do you have a passion, a secret passion that you never mentioned? Like, what's your passions? Hmm. I like video games. But a secret passion. That's not a secret passion. A secret passion. passion. But if I say it, it's not a secret anymore. Is it? Hmm? If I say it, it's not a secret anymore. They don't mean a secret that you're scared to tell people. They mean a secret that you just haven't said. It's not like a secret like, yeah, I rape. Like that, That's not what they mean. I'm trying to think if I haven't mentioned... A secret passion? Hmm. It's like they just asked you the hardest question on the planet. I don't think... uh, I think I've mentioned them all in the past. I don't think I have a... I have one that I haven't mentioned. Secret passion? No. Not really. Uh, So then, like Gary says, if you have to think about it... uh, the answer is probably no. Yeah. Maybe you love knitting, Homer says. Knitting? Yeah. Oh, it could be anything. It could be... <laughs> <laughs> what? Of course it could be anything. What the fuck are you talking about? I thought it was sex related. Well, fighting sports I, I really love. I really like... I have a passion for fighting sports. Okay. Like a lot. Um, I enjoy the fights. But not fights like to kill someone. Fighting like for fun. Okay, so not like fight to the death gladi- gladiatorial yeah. stuff. Well, fun fact, gladiators, I think I've said this on 2DM as They're well. They're not gladiators, but go on. <laughs> gladiators. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? Because you keep thinking of the air fresheners. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think fighting would be a um, secret passion, I guess. Fighting sports in general would be a passion. I really enjoy fighting sports. What about water sports? Yeah. Huh? What about water sports? Water sports are very fun. Obviously. I used to, I remember I played a sport as a kid that I really loved. Water water polo? That was fun. Jesus Christ. I had never heard of anyone describe water polo like that. That was fun. <laughs> I will close my eyes. <laughs> and imagine. What else? The type of fun that I could be having playing water polo. Water polo is fun, but, yeah. you know. Secret passions. Hmm. What else do I enjoy? Yeah, I enjoy just Homer living. Asks, Homer asks, is this what you do in job interviews? What? Is this what you do in job interviews? Like, like so what's your passion? Water polo was fun. <laughs> 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 Why did I say it like that? <laughs> yeah, it would have been funnier if you said Marco Polo. <laughs> Marco Polo. <laughs> it's great. Poseidon, Poseidon's the kind of guy that he'd go to a wrestling tryout and he'd be like, I know all about wrestling, bro. And he would jump off a fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Poseidon turned out to be a chess genius. Uh, no, he doesn't like, he's not good. He's not, Poseidon's weird. He, his, his autism is in different places. He's not good at chess and shit like that, but he's good at other stuff. He's, there's certain games that you are very good at. Yeah, yeah it's, it's weird. Hmm. 
<laughs> jump off a table and land mouth first on a dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that would be funny. I have very good eyes on me. Like, uh, I'm very good at spotting things, finding things, Prostitute. observing things. Like, I'm a, obser- I'm a b- good observer. Like. Listen, part of that. <laughs> You're a good observer, huh? <laughs> yeah. What have you observed? <laughs> You're one of the most clueless individuals anyone in this chat has ever met in their lives. No, but I'm saying like situational. You Explain. Know what I mean? Like you can pick up on hints. Like if someone's trying to do you something. You can pick up on hints. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. If someone's trying to do something bad or whatever. Why am I saying this? You're just going to rip me, bro. Not only are they complete lies and fabrications, like there, there's nothing true about it. You're one of the dopiest people. You're the guy that doesn't notice anything. People could be robbing your neighbor's house and you'd be like, huh, look at that. These fucking movers with ski masks. It's so... It's, <laughs> Too hot for that. Too hot. I don't know why they do it. The style. Everybody <laughs> wants to be stylish nowadays. Uh, he's good at finding Waldo. No, he's good at blowing Waldo. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's good at picking up on hints. Gets robbed by a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> the hint of pay me more money. The hint of I'm not interested. The hint of I'm leaving. The hint of there's pepper spray here. Picked up on none of them. <laughs> oh, he's he's upset now. Look, I was LA horny, bro. He doesn't, but you don't like when people call you on your shit. You hate uh-huh. it. I know you hate it. People call you on your on your bullshit. It's one of the things you hate the most. They're like, let me bullshit. Just nod your heads. <laughs> oh my fucking tailbone is killing me now. Fuck. Um, what else? What uh, what else would another passion be? You you don't have that many. Uh, I just enjoy you're, living you're like, life. Yeah, right. I like doing I like doing everything like uh, that uh, gets your adrenaline going. Yeah. Such as uh, you know, Sam Sidewalk just mentioned. Yep. Like, um, no, not rape, bro. Relax. <laughs> I don't like raping people. Shitting yourself? Uh, no. Like uh, when I went jet skiing, really gets your adrenaline going. I enjoyed that a lot. How did you like jet ski? Because people saw your you posted an Instagram video yeah. with music. It was very fun. It was yeah. very fun. I, I like that you posted. The best part is besides like yo, I'm gonna be so cool. So he posts the Instagram video of him jet ski. With music, like, bam, bam, ball is chain, bam, whatever the fuck it said. And then I was like, I don't know, it seems a little weird. And then right after, a few minutes later, there was a woman, a model, who posted the same, basically, video of her on a jet ski with the same type of music. So your idea was the Where? same as these thirst trap girls on Instagram. I didn't, your I didn't video see. that you posted, yeah. how would you see it on my Instagram? Oh, it was your Instagram. Yeah, on your in- you basically posted that video. And then minutes later, a woman posted a similar video, except she was a hot model. She had all kinds of likes on it, right? But, like, your thought process was the same. You were both like, they're going to love watching me do this. Except one of yous was right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just thought it was cool. Yeah, it's I'm just, just showing, I'm just showing, uh, like, experiencing jet skiing for the first time. Well, no, because showing, it would have just been a video of you jet skiing. You fucking... Put uh, you edited the video. To have no, I literally just put music over it. Yeah, that's it. That's an edit. That music wasn't really there. That that no, wasn't, wasn't your imagination. That wasn't real. No, I just went on an app. I no, oh, this sounds nice. Put it. Yeah, that's what you did. You edited the video. Yeah, that's what we I all just said. It wasn't. It wasn't like there wasn't like it wasn't a super deep thought process behind it. Yeah, there was. You went back and forth on the music. You deleted an initial video that you made. Why are you fucking bullshitting, bro? <laughs> Fuck Look at his fucking face, bro. <laughs> Poseidon thinks that if he looks angry enough, that we're just going to, I fold him to the cook, kiss or lie. Never, sir. I don't back down for no, no bullshitter. The sun's right in your face and you're sweating right now. Either that or you're nervous. Am I what sweating? is it? I'm not, I'm not sweating. No, you're just greasy then. Yeah. No right. Grease ball. Shiny little nose. But, um, I don't know why I did that. Oh, so we're, uh, we were talking about, uh, like Ottawa. How different they are and shit. Yeah. They're very hardcore and they're scared of people from Alberta. Yeah, they don't like Albertans. They think that Albertans, from what the lady, one, one lady was talking to me, she's like, remember when uh, like the people that work on those uh, farms and the oil things, they came down to protest? I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, they're white supremacists. And if you side with them, you're a white supremacist. I'm like, wait, everyone working on a farm in Alberta is a white supremacist? She's like, yeah, exactly. Are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking crazy right now? Like, that's what they tell these people. That's why I'm telling you, the, the, the hardcore left is as crazy as the hardcore right. They tell these people that if anyone disagrees with you, they're racist. So people who are asking for, you know, the the farmers that were asking for help or that, they, the way they justify not helping them is like they're white supremacists. 
after a show, I got into a bit of an argument. I was like, that doesn't make you a white supremacist. You know what the fuck you're talking about. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. It kind of bugged me. It is a little aggravating. Why am I not making superhuman style videos with Poseidon? Two reasons. One, superhuman's already doing them. And number two, it's beneath Poseidon. What's superhuman? It doesn't matter. It's the guy, the guy who he breaks through tables and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Exactly. Is Poseidon a hummus sexual? He is. He gets very horny when he eats hummus. I don't like hummus. What? I don't like hummus. Really? Yeah. I've seen you eat hummus. No. Yes, you did. No. Bro, I'm going to fucking lose my shit. Garlic sauce. Yes, but not hummus. I've seen you eat hummus when we ordered at uh, Shrihan's hotel room. Did I? Yes, you did. Why do you lie? For no reason. Why would you lie remember. about that? No, but I don't remember eating hummus. Oh, I, I remember because I'm the one who paid for it. I'm the one who ordered. Oh. No, no he knows what hummus is. He knows what. No, I know. Well, what I think is. he knows what it is, but he ate it. Zadziki, I love zadziki. Fuck. Jesus. If I could have bread and zadziki for the rest of my life and survive, pita bread specifically and zadziki for the rest of my life, and I don't need any other type of other nutrition, that's what I would eat. I mean, you could do that if you want. No, but then you die within the month. No. Uh, well, within two months. No, you can live. People used to live off bread. You can live. So they get garlic. You get. You're just gonna. Your body's gonna be weird. Because you need some protein. But I mean, you could do it. And King Luffy says you already look like you. You live off tzatziki and pita. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no, no. Look at your shoulders, bro. <laughs> what about your shoulders? What are you trying to tell him? No. <laughs> Sour cheese vanilla ice cream. I'm. Uh, I'm pretty sure is on the list. Wait, what? Sour cream. I think he means the the. Remember what I gave you instead of ice cream. Remember vanilla ice cream. Oh. What did fuck. I give you? Oh, uh, expired uh, cream cheese. Expired cream cheese. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, when you dug into it though, you <laughs> you were so happy. I hope I never have to taste that again. Well, you don't have just don't eat expired cream cheese. Uh, flat cat were about six two. Six two and, and a couple of uh, well, couple my of my driver's license says one hundred ninety one centimeters, yeah. which translates to six foot three. Yeah, because that's that's because they asked you what you are. That's why. No, they measure you. No, they don't measure you anymore. No, they, they have a uh, no because on the on the thing that they take pictures, they have the they have the tape thing. No, no, it's a white background where you take your picture. So how do they have my height? They don't. You, I read because we already we already measured you, and you're not six foot three. So then, when I asked why it's say six foot three, it's because you even told me, "Go, well, that's what I said." And I said, "Okay, then that's why you I have did? six foot three. Yeah. How much do I measure? One eighty high, one eighty eight, one eighty six, something like that. Oh, yeah. He's mistaking it for a mugshot. Yeah, five eleven, and my driver. Yeah, see, so Trey Cool's five eleven, and his uh, driver's license says one hundred eighty centimeters, which is how tall. <clears throat> Google it. So that's for when you get arrested, Poseidon. Yeah, that's when you get arrested, they have the thing next to you to show your height. Uh-huh. When you get your driver's license, it's uh, it's just, uh, what's it called? Uh, you just tell them normally. Unless, the, if you're obviously lying, maybe they'll call you oh, on Oh, that's 5'9". Yeah. But it's 5'11". So it's not the same. But an inch is literally, li- like, this is an inch. This is an inch. Is that a real inch? About. Okay. What are you getting to? Like, are we showing off our dick sizes right now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I'm saying it doesn't really matter. It's like very minimal. It is a foot. A foot is more important than an inch. Yeah, it depends who you ask. <laughs> is that what you tell girls? Look, at least I have big feet. I mean, look, you're, you're focusing <laughs> on this. You're focusing on this one-inch penis, you but everybody knows you a foot way more important than an inch. <laughs> now, are you gonna spread your legs? Let me kick you in the vagina, or are we not gonna do this? <laughs> oh, you know what I saw and it was dying. I saw a video on Instagram speaking of vaginas. Okay, this guy getting a tattoo of his girl's vagina, <laughs> and the chick. <laughs> She's sitting there with her legs spread open in the air, and some other dude is holding her legs. And the no, tattoo bro. artist is tattooing her vagina, and he's there, he's tattooing. And he's like, where, where is this, bro? I, I don't know, somewhere in the states, bro. I is was this dying. a real Marvin says he saw it? Marvin, is this real or a prank? Where was he tattooing on his body? Oh, somewhere on his arm. 
I Why? think. Why? I don't understand. What I don't point? know. I don't know. It made the rounds on Twitter, so we're saying it's... Well, it's viral. I don't know if it's real. But why would you do that? What is it? I don't know. His form, it seemed legit, Marvin says. What the fuck are yeah. people doing? Yeah. It did seem legit. didn't seem... Because the guy was actually getting tattooed. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Twenty nineteen, ladies and gentlemen. You're a real pussy. I'm not a pussy. This is what a pussy looks like. I don't look like that. Like why? <laughs> why, why would you do that? To show his love. To show how much he loves his girlfriend's pussy. I don't know anymore, bro. Then why does he just treat it better? <laughs> yeah, maybe he's retarded. Tanaka says. Look, babe, I love you. I'm gonna get your pussy. You know how much I love your pussy? How much? I'm gonna get a pussy here, show you I'm uh, a pussy too. <laughs> <laughs> if you're dating a girl and she says I want a tattoo, a tattoo of your penis on my back, I'll be like, look, I'm getting a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a regular person's behavior. Because first it starts with a dick tattoo, and then murder. You know, it's, it starts with that and then them ripping your dick off. It's my dick. You can't give it to anyone else. You know, you don't need that shit. You know? uh, it's like that chick with the suck my dick over her eyebrow. Telly Selly. I talked about her on stage this weekend. Yeah. That rapper um, who decided to tattoo suck my dick on her eyebrow. Yeah. And she only had 900 tw- uh, YouTube Let's try and think of how many jobs she can get with that tattoo as a woman. Two jobs. That'll let you. Prostitute? Yeah. Air Canada. Not a real job prostitute. Well, it is. Just what I'm saying is like like an actual job like where, there, where there's an employer. Well, there is, but like what I'm saying is like it's not legit. Air Canada. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Air Canada. Eh, Bell. Bell, too, will tell the customers to suck Bell. their dicks. Yeah. She Bell. could work at Bell or Air Canada. Yeah, that's Bell. it. Yeah. That's not. Those aren't career options. Nah. You don't. That's not a 900. That's why I talk I've about stage. It's not a 900 work, subscriber move. I've met people who work for Bell, by the way. I think one of the most soul sucking jobs. Jobs, and also you could tell that they don't like the job, and the people are questionable as well. Everyone's questionable. We're questionable. Yeah, but I don't know. It, it, every every time I've met somebody, like they have this uh, attitude. Uh, most of the employees I've met from Bell, and uh, like I'm saying this, take it with a grain of salt. But most of the uh, Bell employees that I've met. Yeah, they all think they're better than you. Oh God, everyone thinks they're better than you. Besides, it's really not hard. Oh fuck you, bro. Well, I'm not saying it to insult you, sir. But do you think a lot of people walk around? They look at you, they're like, "He's better than me." No, no, but they have that snobby type of attitude. They have to. They're working a shitty job, bro. They're working a shitty job. They, it's that's what makes them feel better about themselves. Yeah. But I never acted like that towards people. You still act like that towards people. You always act like you're better than people. No, but what I'm saying is I treat people with respect, though. Or at least try to. You know what I mean? Marvin says, if I didn't think I was better than Poseidon, I'd have to take my own life. <laughs> Please make sure Poseidon never gets a facial tattoo. I'm going to try, but you never know. If he f- Sometimes he gets in his, his modes where he thinks he's a SoundCloud rapper. If he gets in one of those modes hardcore, I can't stop him. He's a big guy. I'm really into hand tattoos. Yeah. Tattoos of hands right here. No, no, no. Like a tattoo on your hand. Oh, yeah, like a woman. No, no, but like uh, full sleeve, and then it goes into your hand. But just just here, not your palm. You can tattoo with cum stains? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because I'm always jerking it. Yeah. (laughs) You're like, this is what my dad's jizz looks like forever. What are you going to put on your fucking, on your hand? I don't know, because I want to do my sleeve. Put juicy right here. Or princess. No, it has to be. It has to be. Uh, it can be skulls. It can be anything violent. Oh, okay, yeah. Because because anything. The thing is, no, no. Because in Canada, they can't discriminate for a job. If you have tattoos, unless you have like facial tattoos, but like tattoos, regular tattoos on your body, they can't discriminate anymore. Yeah, they, they can. can. No, I'll they tell can. you how. Yeah, oh. they can. I mean, you're a stupid. This is why you're a dumb person. You're like these fucking hippies. E- right, like they can't discriminate. Yeah. People will discriminate whether they tell you publicly or not. Right. So you go in for the job, yeah. right, and you have your suck my dick tattoos or whatever. It won't be suck they, my dick. Whatever. I'm just saying you have your tattoos. They don't have to tell you we're not hiring you because you have stupid tattoos. 
All they're going to say is, we're not hiring you. We're going another direction. We're going with someone else. They're discriminating because you have stupid tattoos. You're not going to know it. All that, all that says that they're never going to be able to tell you it's because of your tattoos. So you're never going to know what the problem is whenever you can't get a job. But I've seen people with tattoos, hands, get yeah. very nice jobs. Yeah, because they don't have the same fucking tattoos. That, what tattoos have you seen? What, tat- what, ha- what job did you see? And stop lying. W- what are you talking about? Wh- who's the guy that you saw that you're jealous of that has the good job well, that was, you want? There was that judge that was literally tattooed from neck to down to his that ankles. That what? There was a judge. W- uh, what judge? A judge. Yeah, what do you mean? Elaborate. Where you talk? Where did you see this judge? Where? In, in uh, there was an article about him. Okay. What was the article about? That he was, uh, like, don't judge people. Because th- he was a judge that was tattooed literally up until here. Yeah. But then again, he's wearing that huge robe. So you Not can't just see that. He's one guy. He's one judge. And they put an article. Right? Yeah. He's a spectacle. You're not that. And he's a judge. You don't get the job of a judge. No, obviously. You earned the job of a judge. Yeah. Yeah. So again, tell me, what job do you think that if they want to discriminate against you, they can't? They will. Any judge, people in general will discriminate against you and not tell you. No. I'm not talking about the tattoos. I'm saying in general. these. That's why these laws, right, like they make idiots feel better. If there's a law that says don't uh, make fun of idiots, idiots will be like, I'm never going to make fun of again. <laughs> But in real life, people would be like, yeah, okay, yeah, you go stand over there. That's where the non-idiots sit, where the fire is. Okay. You know? <laughs> the way you said okay, yeah, say that again. Th- that's what happens. That's what, Like you right now, you're like, there's a law they can't discriminate against. But yeah, so they won't tell you. We're not hiring you because you have a tattoo of a teardrop no, no, on your face. obviously. But they could just be like, yeah, we just don't want. We just don't want you. We, we, uh, we're we moving in another direction. We we found someone with better experience. I know, I know. How are you going to know? I know. Oh, you don't have to go all the way on your hands, bro. Get sleeves where you can cover them up. Yeah, up until Why do you want to have here on your hands? Up you're until a big here. guy too. It's, first of all, from a distance, it always looks like you're dirty. I don't know. I, I find it looks good, but I would I would get up until here. That's it. Yeah, get up until here. Yeah. You could fit a cock right here. Just right here. Yeah. So uh, even with a long sleeve? I can't see it. No. That's it. And they can't judge you based on your tattoos. Yeah. Especially if they're dumb. You don't know what your tattoos are going to get. They can't judge anything. Yeah. And then once you're hired, you do like you do in every job. Take off your shirt. You're walking with a wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is a Walmart. <laughs> yeah. You guys sell guns here, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know he should get his face tattooed on his penis. Oh, shit. That would be a one. Nobody does that. What? Get your face tattooed on your dick. So when the chick pulls out oh. your dick... She's like, whoa! But like, right, not on my dick, like on my pelvis. Yeah, right on top. Yeah. So basically, she's so blowing she's you blowing and looking at your face, and then she looks up and it's your face again. So she can't look away no matter what. She would have to close her eyes. Yeah, close her eyes and imagine that she made better decisions <laughs> in her life. <laughs> Could you imagine fucking... I really like that. Poseidon cockception. Just like... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I really like that phoenix idea that you gave me, by the way. What phoenix idea? For as, as a tattoo. A tattoo of phoenix. I never gave you that idea. Yeah, you did. What? Where? Yeah, we were at uh, Vogus Barn Grill. We talked about tattoos, and you told me a nice tattoo idea for you would be a phoenix. Put it where? Because, uh, here. Because of, uh, because of me moving out and everything. It's kind of like. There's no way. You did. I There's swear no way to God. I told I you to get to a tattoo to commemorate moving out. Well, because it shows my rebirth. You know, like I'm alone. Like you know, because it took. It I took smell bullshit. I swear I to God. Bullshit. Ask your girlfriend. I smell your bullshit. girlfriend was there. I swear I to God. Bullshit. I swear to God. I smell bullshit. I swear to God. You, you did. know what's happening again? It's one of these selective. I understand what I want to understand. <laughs> type of thing. We probably talked about you moving out. We probably talked about tattoo ideas. We probably talked about phoenixes. You and did, in your head, you're no, like... No, no, you did tell me. I moved out. I need a tattoo of a fucking phoenix. No, you did tell and me. And then what happens if you move into a bigger place? You're going to put a lizard? Like what? No, what? no. <laughs> no, because the whole thing was I, I, I broke free from my, mother, my mother's this, place. This is not something I would say. This is 100% you. I this swear to God. I swear to God you, you told me a no. phoenix tattoo would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice, a phoenix yeah. tattoo. There's no way I told you a phoenix tattoo would be nice and it makes sense. Yeah, you said you to get with a date July 1st. <laughs> I swear to God. I are you crazy? Ask your girlfriend. Are you bro. crazy? She was there. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you 
<laughs> Don't do that. Are you fucking? I swear insane? to God, bro. <laughs> Are you crazy? You did, bro. Are you fucking? I am not, bro. I'm just shocked that you think that that would be a good idea. There's no way you would literally think that that's a good idea. Are you serious? So you're thinking of getting a Phoenix tattoo since July 1st when I left my mother? <laughs> no, you, not when I left my mother. <laughs> are you, are you, have you lost your goddamn mind? Have you lost your goddamn mind? <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are they saying in the chat? They're just shocked. Uh, I mean, my head hurts right now. <laughs> so like July 1st when I became daddy's boy. Like what, what are you going to put? I wouldn't put anything, but I like the idea of a phoenix tattoo. A phoenix tattoo is not a yeah. bad idea if it's done right. Yeah. Not like Ben Affleck's. It's disgusting. But ben phoenix, Affleck ha- has a phoenix tattoo? On his back. His whole back is a phoenix tattoo. Oh, shit. And under it says it has a date and says when he left his mom. <laughs> like, I moved out on this date. And the phoenix is just pushing furniture. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying in the chat, bro? No, they're, they're lost. <laughs> they don't know what to say. They're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> my head hurts <laughs> yeah bro you told me it's a good idea bro july 1st no longer with mama <laughs> jesus christ my feet i'm reborn bro <laughs> i was a child now i'm a man oh, fuck. no it's not that ta- i like tattoos it's just poseidon getting a hand tattoo right now hashtag tattoo free I think he saw an article about judging people with face tattoos and Poseidon made that into a judge with tattoos. Maybe. No, no. There was an actual... Like, you could Google it right now. No, I believe you. It's not that. What I'm saying is you're taking an outlier. You're taking a one-off situation and you're saying... Yeah. I, I, if I get tattoos on my hands, bro, I'm going to be a judge like that guy. That's not how it works. That guy's still the best at what he does, so he became a judge. Yeah. What are you going to be the best at? Whoremongering. He has his hand tattoos, but he knows how to pay for sex. <laughs> so you're saying he became a judge first and then got all those tattoos? No, I'm saying you you think if you get tattoos, that makes you a judge? No, that's not what I meant. A judge, you understand, they can't hire anyone else. They can't hire someone off the street. A judge is, a, I think it's a, you're, you go through law school, you're a lawyer and all that shit. So whether they like it or not, he's the judge. Do you get what I'm saying? Ah, he made it okay, to be the judge. I see. Yeah, yeah, because there's this whole process that not many people can go through. Yeah, even though I don't think it's a real article, but even if it was a real article and he's a judge, I'm just saying it's not like they, they went through an interview process and like, who are we going to get for the judge? This guy used to be a manager at McDee's and now he wants to no, be a judge. I know it doesn't have, work so like that. So either way, whether he has one eye, it doesn't matter. He's Who else you can get the judge? You have to earn your way there. Yeah. It's hard to be a judge. They don't just hand that shit out. Yeah, I know. Oh, my it's God. Tough job. Yeah, they Googled it. Tattoo judge. They can't find it anywhere. Poseidon should get a facial ink box tattoo. Oh, they last two weeks. Oh, maybe. A what? There's tattoos that last two weeks. So what you should do, not on your face, but on your arms, whatever, you should get tattoos of them first. See how you like them. That's actually a good idea that they could do that. Uh, Yeah, I guess. And then, like, if you're not sure about what tattoo to put, you could try different stuff. Well, the thing is, I ha- I'm, ha- I'm getting that new tattoo itch. Okay? On your crotch? No. But I, I don't want to get something stupid. So that's going to be a, an issue for you because you are, in fact, stupid. <laughs> well, I was thinking, <laughs> this one's really dumb, though. Are you ready for it? I don't think anyone's ready for it. Okay. 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 So I was thinking... So you know how in the cartoons you see the angel and the demon sitting on the shoulders whispering? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking a tattoo of that, like here, you can hide as well very easily. But instead of like whispering, the demon whispering <laughs> bad shit and the angel whispering good shit to do, they're just both like, what the fuck is he doing? Because uh, it represents like my life, like series of uh, events <laughs> of like, they're not right or wrong, they're just fucking retarded. Get out. <laughs> Get out right now. <laughs> that is one of the stupidest thing that's ever been said. Get out. Are you serious? Get out. That's it. Get the fuck out. You lost. Get out. We're almost done the live stream. Get out. For the rest of it, you're not here. Get out. Why? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Get out. 
Uh, Get out. I need to cleanse my palate. I'm not serious. It's a joke. Hey, people Relax. are asking for you to leave. People are asking for are you, you to walk serious? away. Are you serious? Walk away. It was a joke. Bye. I wasn't serious. Bye. Walk away. We want to end this without you, Poseidon. Why? All right, guys. Pretend like he's not here. Now you're just with me. I want to thank you all for watching this 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 mental breakdown. Okay. Uh, and remember, if you want to support this goddamn show outside of the um, like uh, PayPal shit and the the super chat and all that. Um, you can go to mybookie.ag, let them know that I sent you using the promo code Pantelis. Uh, you can also, and they'll match your initial deposit, by the way, you can also go to these goddamn crayons, fucking offensivecrayons.com. Uh, offensivecrayons.com, get those crazy offensive crayons, use Pantelis, you get 15% off, and that's how you're going to support. Uh, two Drink Minimum will have its new episode this Wednesday free for everyone, and then the compound episode on Friday as usual. Um, very good. I, people have been really happy with Two Drink Minimum as of late. It's getting more and more um followers it's getting more and more views every week it's getting bigger there so i think we're going to work on some new sponsors there make that show even bigger so we're trying our best to basically create our own community and do things ourselves and not depend on no a mainstream bullshit so uh you know let's see my i'm racist but my dick isn't that's what poseidon is that's basically poseidon that's a that's a verbatim thing that poseidon has said so yeah thank you thank you guys for for coming out and watching me in ottawa thank you guys for watching these live streams uh, we couldn't do the shit without you. This whole live stream is about talking with you guys. So if you guys weren't around, uh, this live stream would be me and this fucking idiot talking about his goddamn face tattoos. So it's much better that you guys are here. Again, new episode of the Pantels podcast dropping um, tonight at midnight. It's going to be a fun one. Poseidon and Rob uh, were in town. So I recorded that podcast a couple weeks ago and it's, it's a really fun one. Um, I also started, you guys probably won't care, but I started the Greek soccer show. Uh, just a, once a week, I talk about what happened in Greek soccer. I'm recording your episode tomorrow, and uh, I'm really pissed off because my team is, is, is just doing garbage. So I'm going to talk shit about them big time. And uh, follow us all on social media. Go to our Discord. The Discord is uh, is in the chat, I believe. So go there and check it out. The four-year-old virgin needs to make an appearance. He will. The four-year-old virgin, we've been talking with his handler, Guido Grasso. Uh, I think we're going to make that happen soon in the next coming weeks. Me and Mike have just been really busy these past couple of weeks. Uh, but we're going to make that happen for sure. So thank you guys again. We really appreciate you guys being here and listening. And Poseidon, you have any closing statements? No, obviously. You lost your fucking mind. That was a joke. What was a joke? I wasn't serious about the, the tattoo. Oh, that's shoulders. not going to make it better. You can't take it back beside him. They're not stupid. No, the Phoenix one, I was serious. I would like the Phoenix tattoo, but that was a joke. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you, Thank you guys for coming.